Hello, everybody, and welcome back to What Do I Owe the Pleasure? I'm here to pick up a couple of flea bags. Mm. To be apart for so long is like torturous barbs in each one of my most sensitive and supple areas. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> and the dwarven man holding the torch looks back. No! You look back, you see one behind you, you can look down, and something's like skittering underneath. Boston sent me for you. I'm here to bring you back, that's all. Why don't you come forward to have a talk? <laughs> well, I'd love to talk. Fun. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tabletop Notch. Kelly, welcome back to the yes. table. Thank you guys for having me. Um, not only our first Broncolo guest, but our first Broncolo returning guest. Yeah. I wasn't sure you'd let me come back. <laughs> I know, you took all your stuff I with took you. All my stuff. Well, last time, literal blood was shed. So I thought, <laughs> I forgot. maybe I'd be banned. <laughs> Um, tonight we're going to be coming in with chapter 13 of Brunk Hollow. Kate Mori has gone off into the downwield on her own little mission uh, after meeting an old friend and sort of seeing what his purpose here is in Brunk Hollow. Which leaves the rest of us to go on a little mission for Mr. Uh, Bison Stott, who we met for the first Such time. Such a charmer. <laughs> in the previous episode. Oh my. Deirdre was that thoroughly guy. repulsed by, <laughs> by him. Loved that guy. <laughs> but before we get into it, as always, a few things to take care of for Well, around. you didn't get to shout out last time because you didn't start on camera. Do you want to like shout out anything? Like your like TikTok oh, or anything yeah. like yeah. that? Like, yeah. Go for it. Um, yeah, you can find me out. on TikTok and Instagram. It's at Kelly Heyer, that's my name. Um, uh, I think the only thing that I really have to promote is that um, I can use the, go to the link in my bio and I designed some shirts with my friends that are called Subway Shirts and $10 from every shirt gets donated to Planned Parenthood and the Yellow Hammer Fund. Um, I made the shirts after terrible comments were made about my outfit on the subway. <laughs> so <laughs> good thing that came out of it. So that's if you want to support awesome. a cause, I think that's that the only thing I have to promote. Perfect. <laughs> that's awesome. awesome. Thanks. Awesome. All right. Uh, Regular shit. Thank you for coming to the Sunday night Twitch stream. <laughs> Before we move on to other platforms, a couple things about this Twitch stream here. A little while ago, we had 50 new Gifted community uh, subs by Raul Knight. Yes, thank not you. Not when we were online, oh, even. I'm wondering if they couldn't make it, but thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Nice. That ups our uh, uh, good as gold numbers. Right we now. can get more cool shit from good yep. as gold. Oh, we'll talk so about a little you. bit more about that today. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yes, if you were hoping to do so anonymously, too bad. Nothing. No oh, good deed nah, goes unpunished. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, other people that are feeling generous, when you, th this, because it's a cheery time of year, I think, right now, if you cheer over 300 bits, yep. am I saying this right? Yep. Twitch does an additional 30% on top of that. So Happy there's like little, <laughs> <laughs> the number three was used yeah, earlier. Sorry. 10%, thank you. It's even written right here. <laughs> and I didn't look at it again. Um, I didn't know that, that's cool. 10% extra. So thank you to all of those cheering and bidding. Um, we will. We are enjoying this thoroughly. Um, but yeah, uh, 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 this is Sunday. Tuesdays you can listen to the podcast wherever you podcast. Rate us. Do our polls. Continue to lie and just vote for TC every time for some reason. Oh my um, God, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know this was the whining part of the intro. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not a whiny baby. <laughs> Desperation. Uh, I feel like George McFly when people call him a chicken. I'm a whiny <laughs> baby. <laughs> Nobody ever calls me that. Um, <laughs> Tuesday podcast. Tuesday is also when the YouTube video goes live, but only if you are a patron or a YouTube member. Otherwise, it's going to go live on Fridays. Um, thank you for all those people over there liking and commenting and yeah. subscribing. There's so many. Holy moly. We love. There's so many people talking about how they're catching up and, and enjoying. Uh, Campaign one and Literally. having ridiculous theories about what's going on <laughs> here in Brunk Hollow. If you think your comment goes unseen, it does not. Because <laughs> Jordan sits there and she scrolls yeah. through every <laughs> single one. Uh, so thank you. Um, Discord is another place that we read every one of your <laughs> delicious comments. Yeah. Uh, but there's been some. I don't know if you've seen. There was fan art of Ace. Oh, yeah. 
was. Oh, yes. Stop. Stop. We'll, we'll pull up a oh, wow. oh my yes. god. We'll pull it up later. But cool. yes, please. Yes. 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 So if so. you made that, send slide into my DMs. <laughs> like, oh. like I want to see. Tell me that you made it. I'll repost it up to um, my story. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. We have to give you a guest uh, star role oh, on yeah. there and everything. Mm. Join the Discord. So you also should join the Discord uh, uh, to talk about the latest episode, to talk about the old campaigns, uh, uh, mini campaigns. And share your fan art because yeah. we love when you Discord.gg slash tabletop notch. Do that. Yeah. Got that sick link now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, every social media that you use, uh, search at tabletop notch and you'll find Everyone. us. Um, a little behind the scenes clips. Uh, yes, uh, our Rollies video for HP just dropped. HP went up. Uh, uh, did we share? Fun. We might have shared during Notch and Soda what we got. Yes, for because we, yeah. only special yes. people get to see Notch and Soda, which nice. we did last week. <laughs> YouTube members, top tier patrons, and those of you who are subscribed here on Twitch, mm -hmm. you will see and those as they go live. Spotify subscribers, which I adore. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for those too. Um, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all my junk. That's cool. all your junk. Okay. Everybody's been ordering all the merch. It's been so much fun. Yeah. We're, we've got the samples now of Pokodoko's so latest cute. invention, which uh, is our lovely little owl bears running yeah. across our chests, running spelling out snow. tabletop notch. There's <laughs> lots so of Samson cute. and Samson stuff. The the thing to get like the free holiday card is still um, happening until I think like the, the after Christmas, even though you won't get it by then, but you know. Um, also, tickling us to no end is at least two different people with the last name Samson have ordered the Samson. <laughs> <laughs> tote, and even if you don't like our stream, but you ordered it for that reason, I, we see you. <laughs> That's they could be lying about their name. Uh, I mean, it's on the credit card or whatever. Oh. It's like the oh. billing info. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> elaborate line. It would be an elaborate uh, line. Yeah. And then for Patreon, we're going to be dropping our like homebrew element for December. Every month we drop some kind of homebrew thing. This is our Broncolo version. It's got a couple things in it so far, including hymns and all other good stuff. Yeah, the yeah. most recent one was it was hymns and prayers of Broncolo, and you can hear Jordan's lovely singing voice as she sings along. Um, we I think we already know what the upcoming one is, but we'll wait to announce that because we have a couple ideas. But uh, so it's more good stuff coming there. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get all the old stuff uh, when you when you sign up at the six five dollar six tier six dollar tier. Old but still fresh. Yes, <laughs> always relevant. Uh, oh, anything so else? <laughs> um, no. If you can't stick around until the end, be sure to watch the vod later or on YouTube later because there's a cute little tree we have planned for you at the end of the episode. Yes, but you have to wait. Little, there's a little holiday treat, so uh, stick around and or watch later. You gotta hang tight, man. You gotta hang tight, baby. <laughs> you gotta wait. You can't, do you can't you hang tight <laughs> or loose. <laughs> <laughs> can't hang. All right. Um, oh, and then I need to thank some people, and then we yeah. can get right down to business. Please I'm do. sure there's a lot to do. Raw Night again. Thank you so much for the 50 community thank, subs. Thank you. Prejoy resubscribe. Nerf Master 09 resubscribe. Let's go, BB. Golden Dagger 94 resubscribe. Nerf Master gave out five community subs. El Chunka Cabra resubscribe. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Russell Ogren <Chunka> resubscribe. Boys <laughs> <laughs> gave out five community subs. Ms. Majora gave out a sub. Nerf Master gave out 20 community subs. An anonymous oh. person gave out 10. And then Dave the One gave out five. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I know I saw bits and I think that Twitch is choosing to ignore them again, so uh, hold on one second. I got them here. You got it, I can. Do you want to do it? Cave Enclave did 500 with a little extra. Cole Schaefer did 500. Uh, bu 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 Helljack did 5,000. Yes. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my goodness. Knock yes. off. Oh, Captain Cad resubscribed. Some of this uh, stuff Cave Enclave, another 500. Um, Cole Schaefer, 500. Golden Dagger, 2100. Did you see no, that one? No, oh, I think smart guy. Nice. Fuck. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank what a great it. community. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy, Holy smokes. smokes. Um, everybody's excited for the guest episode, so I think it's time yeah. to throw it over to the intro, uh, throw it over the recap, then the intro, and then we'll dive back in. All right, everybody. I'm ready if you are, baby. Yes. No. What? No, you're not ready? <laughs> but then you're not going to see a cool bonus? Okay, we're ready. <laughs> okay, we're ready. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's throw it over to the recap. Oh Here we go. <laughs> Hmm? Previously 
on Chapter 12, Blood Pressure. Doxley received some truly astonishing news during her secret rendezvous, for not only was she about to get in league with Izzy Narvos, but Niall believed the cusp was on the move and could reach Bruncolo Valley in just a few short years. The rest of the party had regrouped at Paramount Lodgings, but quickly split to make the most of the evening. While Ilian checked out the Gnome Nook, Kate took a bath and cleared up a misunderstanding with Chase Langford, who had plans to start a competing mining company and wanted to show her something tomorrow, far away from prying eyes. As this was happening, TC and Morna broke into the room of Haskell Pips, and though there was no one inside, a couple of items left behind gave her clues as to where she might continue her search. The next stop was the cemetery for a bit of grave robbing, but on their way, the humans bumped into the big man himself, Bison Stott, who orchestrated a reunion with Ace Adam's Rogue to track down a man who'd fled into the downwheel. Were TC's fears founded that too much work for Bison was closing doors elsewhere? And how long could a secret as big as a moving cusp stay hidden in a place like this? Stick around and find out on Chapter 13 of Brunkhawk. An extraction of blood under the cover of darkness was the last item of significance on the evening's agenda. And following that imperfect yet fruitful endeavor, it was time to wind down an eventful day that saw you meet the Monteros, contend with Nilbogism, and pay preliminary visits to a few of the remaining establishments of note. Less desperately in need of a full night's sleep than his co-conspirator, TC felt the insatiable itch of curiosity regarding the preacher killed at the music box. And with the man's lot slip in his hand, he headed first to the gnome nook up past stubborn bluffs to see if he might gain access to the tent of the fallen. Unfortunately, it took only a minute or two of asking around to discover that the rental receipts from the gnomes have a distinct and more professional appearance, meaning that the one in your possession was likely sourced from the goblins. A dangerous detour better left to another day when you've had time to scout the area in advance. Before retreating to his room, TC did a quick pass of the thoroughfare and down by the river just to see if Maeve was awake and might want her delivery sooner rather than later. But you found no sign of the troubled alchemist, so you wrapped the syringes in cloth and nestled them into a desk drawer to be handed off tomorrow. On the way back to her room, Morna stopped to tell the Tyroons about Bison's proposal. And since Kate's note from earlier had apparently opened up their morning, it seemed like a worthwhile enough deviation, especially since, depending on how the timing of things plays out, you might be able to meet Kate after to knock out two contracts at once. A windy night in the valley made for many a clattering shudder that was, on occasion, enough to shake you from your trance or slumber. But thick blankets and feathered pillows fought the good fight to send you back to a restful state. And soon enough, the sun is rising over the eastern ridge, bringing with it the slow awakening of this enigmatic town. With time to spare before being called upon, the early elven risers took a slow approach to the morning, an extended breakfast, some limbering up in anticipation of travel, and a bit of meandering in the thoroughfare before Bruncolo's businesses opened up their doors. As soon as the opportunity arose, Ilian paid a visit to Crenshaw to gather his assorted weaponry, and he left the smithy satisfied that he's expanded his options in combat. At the same time, Doxley stopped by Good as Gold to once again pursue their imports catalog. 
And with a mostly favorable reputation thus far, you were able to secure some space on the next set of wagons for a few specialty items. Do you have those written down or do you want me to do it? <gasps> Uh, let's see if I remember them. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> We're unlocking acid vials. We're unlocking the locket of life clinging. We're unlocking tangle feetses. We're unlocking goggles for those stupid humans in our party. <laughs> and we're unlocking smoke sticks. Yeah, so uh, if- oh, Thank uh, you. Uh, Memory. It was a big discussion. Being, uh, <laughs> Lot of <laughs> oh my gosh, did we just get raided while you're bringing that up? Spent Dead Aussie Gamer, thank you, Hello. welcome everybody. Thank you and welcome. We're just getting started. Yeah, we're just getting started here. Um, once again, uh, this is a great reminder since we just had some very, very generous gifted uh, subs. Um, the subs go into sort of a pool of renown for our adventuring party. And what the renown does is it allows them to sort of request that items are stocked at good as gold, the general store. So once again, you guys requested to get acid vials that TC can throw about, uh, goggles of night, which give our non uh, night or dark vision uh, characters the ability to see a little bit in the dark. And then they got some smoke sticks, which create like a cloud of smoke to obscure targets. Tangle foot, which uh, makes like a sticky substance on the ground that things can get stuck in and restrained. And then the locket of life clinging was the last thing ordered. And what nice. that does is it allows you to spend a hit die to gain advantage on a death saving throw. So in a, a dire moment <laughs> when you're at death door, you can give yourself advantage on the death saving throw as and long as you have hit dice available. It's probably gonna be a There's, billion gold. <laughs> <laughs> There's no like a tuning or anything, you just, as long as you're wearing this. So uh, that item, the Locking of Life Clinging, attunement in Broncol, because it's not, it's sort of a low magic campaign. It's not like learning how to use magic. It's basically just learning how it works. So okay. you do attune to it, okay. but only in the sense that like you understand the intricacies of how to use it. You can't toss it around in the middle of battle. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> that person's going down. Yeah. <laughs> you, like lasso them. <laughs> but like, because our, our death saving throws don't reset until a long rest. Oh my it would like Short rest, but yes. Sorry, short rest. Would we be able to like, Give it to someone who's failed. Give it to someone who's had is having a bad day. Theor during the rest, yes, yeah. you could hand it off to let them use it until okay. the next rest. Yes, no. that is yeah, yeah, theoretically yeah. possible. So thank you once again to the yeah, generous uh, subs you. that allowed them to request some items. It may take a day or two for uh, Samson and Samson to stock it Oops, in so the like store. Chapter fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, but they will become available to you later on. Boys. In the early stages of its setup. The open market outside Paramount Lodgings isn't much to look at. A few tarps and wooden poles, empty stalls waiting to be filled with textiles, pelts and foraged goods. But its promise of prime real estate ensures that there are always men and women hovering nearby, mulling over whether it's best to claim a spot now or look for an opening later when the streets are busier. A few of those vendors take a moment away from their contemplation to tip their hat or wave to the dwarven woman who fast approaches the nearby hotel. A face known to some, especially those whose business puts them in and around the vicinity of excavation on demand, where she can be seen taking the exterior staircase up to Bison's personal office when the need for someone of her talents arises. Passing through the front doors and into the lobby, a somewhat sleep-deprived Samuel Clemens standing at the front desk turns to see you enter. He straightens and smiles with a tilt of his head and then dabs the corner of his mouth with a napkin as it seems he was finishing up a modest breakfast of some coffee and biscuits. Miss Adams Road. Morning, Sam. Ever since you found accommodations elsewhere, your visits to the Paramount are few and far between. They are. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to pick up a couple of flea bags. Mm. <laughs> I believe I know the ones you speak of. Oh yeah? One of them left very early this morning, seemed outfitted for a long walk beyond the town limits. I'm not certain when she intended to be back. The two others took the air, but struck me as imminently returning, and the remaining pair have yet to emerge from their rooms. All right, well, I wouldn't mind giving them a rude awakening. It's time to go. <laughs> I can send Kenzo up to give them a knock. Um, if you'd like to have a seat in the dining area, I can send them to you as soon as they present themselves. Sounds great. Thanks, Sam. Would you like someone to bring you a cup of coffee? Oh, yes, please. we Will do. And he starts to head in the direction of the kitchen. Modest little seating area, a couple of tables, some chairs. There's like one or two other people that are, again, having some eggs, some sort of hash, some sort of kind of crispy hash and eggs, and a cup of coffee. So you take a seat there. And you kind of wait. 
The area here is familiar to you, not a place that you frequent all that often. You used to rent a room here when you first came to Brunkhall, but now you've found accommodations elsewhere. A couple of the people, one of them kind of looks over and similar to the people outside, gives a little tip of the hat. Someone around town that you recognize, not a friend or anything to that effect. And then there's someone else in there that isn't someone that you recognize. Could be someone new or just someone that you haven't run into so far. It's an elven man with kind of shaggy red hair. He has a sleeveless tunic on. And a couple times while he's eating his breakfast, he kind of looks over in your direction. One time you kind of catch his eye and he smiles. <laughs> Morning. Morning. It was windy last night. Very. I'm, uh, I'm renting a, a tent from the gnomes up on the hill. A couple times felt like the damn thing was gonna come down. I'd be swimming in canvas. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that hasn't happened before. You better <laughs> tie that tent down. <laughs> Ace. He's, he, he's far enough apart that he has to kind of get out of his chair just to lean over. I sit and, and wait for him to come to me. <laughs> he, <laughs> does. Yeah. he comes over to you. Kirk. Kirk Noonan. And he goes back to his chair, but he turns it a little bit. Not so he's sort of facing you directly, but just he was facing away from you, so he kind of turns just so he can address you a little more directly. You know, uh, I've actually, I've seen you around. You new in town? Kinda. I, I've seen you um, coming in and out of excavation on demand. You, uh, do you work with, work, do you, and he seems a little nervous. Mm -hmm. Do you work with Mr. Stott? I do. Gets me jobs. I do great work, he gets me more jobs. Not a bad gig. Prospecting? Not quite. I came here to prospect. Oh yeah? Independent. But uh, sadly my claim didn't prove out like I'd hoped. Mm. I'm in the hole for a little more than I can muster. You trying to get in with Bison? Yeah, maybe. If I could swing it. I tried gambling the money back, but it was a mistake the moment the idea was conceived. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen here. Now I'm, I'm just looking for an honest wage. and I've been trying to get seen over there, you know, get myself employed. But I guess something's going on because everybody's real busy. Nobody will spare a moment. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Broncola right now. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I mean, with EOD specific, they seem like they're tied up in something. I don't suppose I, I could impose upon you to get me in to see him. I know my trade good. I, I worked in the South Vancor quarries for near 10 years. I mean, I feel like I'd be an asset to him. I, I worked in management positions, not that I'd expect to start there. Just... I mean, that's great. I can't say I can personally take your hand and take you up to Bison, but... I got some jobs I gotta do today, but maybe find me at the end of the day and uh, we'll talk a bit more. I'd appreciate that, I would. I got my hands full with other flea bags. <clears throat> so, can't quite take on another. I understand. Yeah. I mean, insight check. <laughs> What's going on already? Right First. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's gonna be 17. 17. As you're talking with this man, nothing that he says sort of <clears throat> strikes you as threatening or, or sort of off about it. But a couple things stand out to you. One is the fact that he mentioned trying to gamble his money back. Mm -hmm. And you spend a decent bit of time at the tables over at the Lucky Heathen. And you've never seen this man's face. Now, it's not impossible that this person hasn't been there. <laughs> There's a lot of people that go there. You could be going at times that you're not there. It strikes you as a little, just curious that you it didn't even know, not even a passing recognition of this man. And the other thing that just sort of strikes you is a little bit what you picked up before is there's a little nervousness to him. Just mm -hmm. the whole operation, it could just be that he's nervous to maybe get a meeting with Bison or that he feels like he's imposing, but just something about him seems like he, there's more to it that, that he's not saying. 
take, yeah, I want to, yeah, take note of all that. And then sometime before we leave, potentially, with the rest of the group, um, I just want to get a note back to EOD headquarters um, about potential shifty character. Sure. Uh, as as you would have known staying here for a little while, you could definitely slip a note to Mr. Clemens and he would take it over there. Yes, he, he you know, will take things where they need to go. Yeah. So if you were to do that, he, you have a relationship with him, you could yeah. certainly do that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if you just gave me a chance to speak on my value, I'd happily return the favor any way you see fit. Yeah. Pass the point of pride, <laughs> I, I tend your horse, shine your shoes. Sure, sure. Well, why don't you uh, keep trying those tables? And uh, maybe we'll see each other in the next day or two. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Maybe I'll see you at the tables, actually. I've tried to avoid them now that I put myself in a hole, but I just may find myself there. Yeah, how recently you lose everything? Uh, it wasn't all in one night. Mm. I mean, I, it happened over the course. Uh, I tried a little br brunk called a double pass, they call it, and uh, then mostly poker after that. <laughs> well, let's right. play poker sometime. Only if you promise to lose on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you. I I'll let you head in peace. You have a good day. Comes back, turns and sort of his chair back toward the table. Mm. A few, couple more minutes go by. <laughs> Damn. <Ooh. laughs> Two, three, four, five minutes. Sort of thinking to yourself, both about the conversation that just took place and about the mission that's about to take place. From where you're sitting, it does feel like just about everything seems to revolve around Bison. Even strangers that you speak to mention his name first and foremost. But as Brunkalo continues to grow, perhaps that won't always be the case. You complete this task to his satisfaction, maybe things will finally revolve around your interests for a spell. Interrupting your musings is the sound of boots coming down the main staircase. A man that you recognize as TC, patting down the <laughs> collar of his jacket, and just behind him a woman that you don't recognize, outfitted with a fine breastplate and a haunted look of severity on her face. <laughs> Before Mr. Clemens even needs to point the way, TC spots you, and the two of them approach the kitchen looking like they could maybe use a cup of coffee of their own. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Who are you? You don't look like the other one. Did you I'm... kill her and take her spot? <laughs> no, ma'am. I'm Morna HT. That's right, you hadn't I met. I Bison on the street last night with Mr. Welker. Oh yeah, I heard y'all met the big man. Well, it is very nice to meet you, Morna. Nice to meet you as well. How'd you like him? <laughs> you can tell me the truth. I won't, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> he is an interesting and imposing figure. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, voracious. Mm -hmm. Loves to. Was he with the stuff? Is yeah, yeah stuff yeah. in his mouth. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Some might say coarse. <laughs> Perhaps you don't get to be a station that high without, you know, <laughs> being able to speak your mind. <laughs> What's this? Having a strong erect, strong erect. <laughs> Expand on that, okay? Uh, <laughs> Without thrusting forward into the future with oh, your my. mind and body. Mm. All right, I'm gonna stop you right there uh, yes. before you Sorry. keep talking. Uh, <laughs> uh, just you two today? Where's the rest of the people I was promised? I believe Miss Mori is uh, otherwise engaged, but the Tyrone should be back. Back? They are in the, uh, if they're not I in their imagine... second floor rooms, then who knows what these they light rise sleepers get well up to. Before us, yes. <laughs> we can find them. All right, <laughs> clock's a ticking. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go out and see if I can see the Tyrants in the thoroughfare. Sure, take, you take a walk to the front, you take a look out, give me a perception check. As this is happening, TC sort of taking a seat next to you. TC sits and his mind's a little preoccupied with kind of a lot of the events of the night before, to the graveyard and then the gnome nook, and then returning to his room for a spell. And before he took a moment of rest, not a full night's rest, but enough of it to sort of reinvigorate himself, he sat down and would you like to talk a little bit about what TC did before he went to bed? <laughs> Knowing that I had many hours there, <laughs> TC kind of sets himself up again at his little stationary nook and takes the things out, smooths some papers out, and writes a couple of letters. 
the first. Dearest Gretchen, my heart aches. To be apart for so long is like torturous barbs in each one of my most sensitive and supple areas. <laughs> the city is rank without your beauteous scent. And it goes on and on like this for a little while. It goes on for a bit here, but the key here is that hidden in there somewhere is there is at least one piece of Thieves' Cant that has a short message that says, first contact made, more news soon. Fold that up. Gretchen, Clement, Peron. Put that aside. Next paper. Dear Pilgrim, please forgive yesterday's transgression. I will be plain. Your presence in P is greatly missed. I am here at the behest of P.M. Our only hope is that I may aid you in any way you see fit as to satisfy your objectives here. My name is TC and I am staying in room seven at the Paramount. Sienna Sorel. You're writing that on the exteriors. On the exterior. TC doesn't know if that took <laughs> six or seven hours, but whatever time he had left, those sit on the table there. Just kind of sit on the bed until the sun rises, looking at the stationery on the desk there. He's collecting himself, fixing himself back up. And then before going downstairs, <laughs> slips both into his jacket there, and comes downstairs as you see him. Remembering that, and then sort of almost transposing, once again sort of losing track of time, sitting there, and a hot cup of coffee has been placed in front of you, and you weren't, didn't even see that coming, and you look up and walking away is Kenzo, who had brought you, you know, the table, a few mm. cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. But just sort of losing yourself in that memory of the night before, before coming back to. What was your perception check? Uh, it was a five. <laughs> <laughs> She's back, baby. <laughs> Morna returns to the table at the kitchen, informing them that no sign of them yet. Mm. Oh, it's all right. Perhaps they ran some errands. Did you yodel their names through the thoroughfare? I did no yodeling. And before any yodeling is necessary, <laughs> It's just a moment later that two sea elves come through the front door, looking like they're preparing for a hunt. Ilian has a pair of new daggers and a short spear with an extended bladed tip, and Doxley is carrying a simple but sturdy longbow complete with a quiver full of arrows. Mm -mm. Mr. Clemens raises a hand and then motions over in the direction of the kitchen, catching Ace's eye with a gesture that seems to imply the gang is all here, at least those who seem likely to show. I do a full like body up and down, clocking all the weapons and all the stuff, and I'm, I'm impressed. Ah, uh, it's good to see you again, Ace. Hope good you've been well. Good morning. I've been great. How have y'all flea bags been doing? Oh, you know, new flea bags, new town. It's been pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. You do some shopping. Yeah, Crenshaw makes some good stuff. Mm. And, Woo. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. He makes good stuff. <laughs> Speaking of it, brother, where can I yeah. unburden myself? Right here. I will just here. take that right here. Thank you so much. I will give you whatever you're owed in a moment. Really? Are those, all of those weapons are yours? Yeah, they will be. I mean, yes, they are. <laughs> I will use them all. Yeah. Good gods. And look. Oh. Yikawa in hand. She is beautiful. I'm probably bringing her out today, so mm. figure it out. Very well. <laughs> Compared to yours, it, it, it's much shinier and sort of <laughs> newly crafted. However, <laughs> it lacks a little bit of the character and age of a finely sort of <laughs> tested in combat. Barb's not jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried about 
each one of these turning to dust after a few strikes? Why so many weapons? Well, like when we were at the goblins at the tavern, I needed Kate's help to cut open the basement thing. If I had a dagger, I could have done that on my own. It, when we were fighting dogs and everything, and I got thrown off a cliff, if I had a bit more range with these bows and these spears, I could have been more useful. I just want to make sure I've covered all my uses for you guys. Now we just need a pack mule to carry it all around. Exactly. <laughs> mm. I'm teasing, brother. It looks good. Thank you. Can I just do a sweep of all of them <laughs> and make sure <laughs> and make sure that no one is like no one picked up those like thunderstone pickaxes? Mm, give me a perception check. The what now? <laughs> the Great, that answers my what? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh! Oh, that's not at 20. Uh, but it is a, it isn't a minus one, but. No, that's fine. Um, as you look them up and down, it does seem like they came down ready to travel. So they have some, their, their larger backpacks, some weapons on them. You feel like none of them have a pack large enough that would fit a pickaxe without being able to see it. So at a quick glance, yeah. it does not seem like anyone has any kind of gear that would fit that description. Excellent. <laughs> Everyone drink their coffee. How we all doing? Dude. Did. Great. Yeah, been, been up for hours. Yep. It occurs to me now, uh, uh, will we need any special equipment on this? Uh, uh, aren't we bringing somebody back who... <laughs> it's not in a lot of people. In the... you can, there's we one can or two others. I actually, I wanna, I'm gonna sure. stop TC right there. <laughs> <laughs> you all, from that nat 20, can I assume that they all like are... Uh, have the equipment that we would need for this. Yeah, I mean, they look ready to travel. Right. They're armed in case of danger. I mean, they awesome. look ready to go. Nothing super specific. Y'all look pretty well strapped. Um, I'm sure y'all have many questions, but I would rather we hit the road and I will tell y'all more once we're farther out of town. Kind of keep the Kirk <laughs> in mind there. Yeah, <laughs> as you look over to him, I'll bump into that nat 20. He's not like obviously eavesdropping, <laughs> yeah, but he's yeah, yeah. also kind of leaned back in his chair. <laughs> just like, <laughs> it's hard to tell. You might just be curious. Yeah. Uh, a lot of new people just showed up all at once and all right. sat in the same place. But, but still. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go on our hike, everyone. <laughs> Lead Great. the way. Very well. Everybody gets. Ah, very quickly. I'm going to go over to the front desk yes, there. Yes, you do. Samuel Clemens. Um, Mr. Welker. It. it uh, Time is of the essence, and it slipped my mind. I'm gonna of take course. These out. Would two or three gold be enough to get these both sealed and brought to Narvo C and C for me? <laughs> Quite more than enough, Mister Welker. He takes two. He slides them back. All right. E even though one needs to go, and I'll, you know, it says Paran on one. A minor inconvenience. Thank you. He puts the. He looks like he puts the. He opens up a drawer and puts the letters in there, and you can see when he opens it, there's some uh, sealing like wax in there and a, and a little stamp as well. So gotcha. he's not doing it right the second, but he seems to have the equipment trustworthy. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Before we go, I just want to know if it's feasible. Two daggers, great sword, longbow, <laughs> quiver, a yickle what? Can I carry all that if they have their proper places? Yeah. Great. Uh, the daggers and the yickle are- With full armor clink, on too. Clink, yeah. clink, The clink. daggers and the yickle are yeah. on the smaller side, so yeah. those aren't really an issue. I mean, the longbow's kind of strung over and then the great sword over the yeah. top of that, sort of in a right. strap on the back. I mean, <laughs> you look like you're ready for war, but, uh, but you can carry all of them. <laughs> great, I will be carrying all of them. Shall we put you up on a- on our shoulders, uh, will you make it? Uh, please, TC. I will make it, and if we need to run the whole way, it would be a great run. Wow. All right. <laughs> You've watched Dillion run around in a full set of heavy armor before, so. <laughs> the man is ready for battle. I can see. Good luck, Ms. Adams Rogue. Bye, Sam, and I tap the table and put the note there. Great. For him and to he takes off. it, and it seems like he opens his mouth to say something. Uh, everybody else, give me perception. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Definitely not gonna see the contents of the letter, but... No. 21. Sorry. You notice that she handed Amazing. something off to him. Okay. Six. He did not. Eight. Not one. <laughs> so oh my god. Just TC. Stay full. Stay full. <laughs> she sneezed and her eyes closed for like a really long time. I'm like, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, the allergies. <laughs> Wait, sorry, am I the only one who saw it? You are the only oh. one. Shut <laughs> up! Shut up! 
head out into the thoroughfare. Once again, right outside, people are setting up that open market area. People sort of pulling some of the cloth over the top to give it kind of a nice little covered area. Do we see the goblin that sells the mushrooms? The goblin is not there. Okay. The times you've seen him has been in like the early afternoon, late morning or early afternoon. Okay. So it might be a little early for him to appear. Cool, cool. Is there any other last minute errands before people uh, wander out? Nah. Okay. Sorry, Bassett Clemens, that's who was at the desk mm -hmm. this whole time. Okay. Yeah. Cool. As you are quickly learning, many an excursion into the downwheel begins with a stroll through Detention Pass. The level ground and well-maintained road means that you can travel quickly and safely in an east-west direction, with several points of departure identified by pioneers before you that let you get headed in the right direction without needing to rely on maps or memory. You've seen this before with the pile of rocks that was used as a kind of trail marker. It's busy here at the moment, mostly prospecting types that are hauling carts and tools, but also a couple supply wagons that might be headed out to Fort Contrition. It's amusing to see the miners in their pre-work state when you've mostly to this point seen them in the aftermath. Their hands and faces are clean, their energy is up, and their hair is not yet streaked with sweat and grime. One by one, these groups start to peel off from the main road and start to head to their dig sites. Five and a cart will go this way, another group of eight or so will peel off south. And at a point you realize that this may be the closest that you've come to Little Hollow since you've arrived. Well past the spots where you made for the gully or broke south toward the Montero's abandoned tavern. There's even what look to be patrols starting to appear in gray and green attire, the attire of the clinkers, pacing slowly back and forth. They don't seem to be on high alert, just sort of wandering up and down on the sort of edges of the road to make sure that nothing suspicious seems to be getting closer and closer to the prison itself. You can see that each of them has a, like a little loop of rope and then a signal horn dangling down by their hip so that they could, in, you know, if they sensed an emergency, could sound the horn and that people back at the prison would hear that signal or at least they could relay it back to the prison. Sorry, what was the name of the area again? Um, Little, Hollow. Little Hollow's Little the name Hollow. of the, like, uh, Fort Contrition is in Little Hollow. Uh, Got Little it. Hollow's like the name of the neighborhood, basically. So you guys have a moment here as you're walking. Now that some of the groups have peeled off, the road is much sort of more open. It's just you. You can have a private conversation out here. All right. Well, I thank y'all for coming today. Happy to be here. <laughs> Bison is stretched a little thin right now. A lot of jobs, a lot of things going on. What we're gonna do today is not my preferred area, but I am more than happy to do it. Personally, I'm a fan of smash and grabs. What we're doing today is a fetch and retrieve. There's a man who is hiding out in the woods, and our job is to get him and to bring him back alive. I cannot stress that enough that he needs that to come back alive. A lot but harmed is okay as long as he's alive. Oh, well, I don't give a fuck, yeah. Okay. As long as he's alive. Uh, the man we are after is Spencer Stott. Ah. Squ mm. Sorry. A relation. Uh, did you just say right? Scott or Stott? <laughs> Stop. As in? As in his nephew. Correct. Ah, nephew. All right. Okay. What was the first name? I totally forgot it. it was Spencer. Stop. Spencer. Spencer Stop. The wily nephew. <laughs> and what has he done to offend Mr. Bison? So? Oh, so much. You should take a lesson from him and not do any of it. Uh, Y'all haven't been in town for very, very long, but... Barely two days. You know, Maeve and Bison... They have a business relationship. Bison wanted someone more personal that he could uh, control and use for his various alchemist projects. Mm. Uh, so that's where his nephew came in to fill that role. But Spencer turned out to be a fuck up, so mm. uh, he's run away. Bison wants him back, and we need to get to Spencer before he gets to the warden. Oh, now why would the Spencer, the Spencer? <laughs> Excuse me. Speak more. Why <laughs> would the man's <laughs> reputation proceed? Yes. He is the, the Spencer. <laughs> the wily nephew. Why would the wily nephew want to go straight to the warden? 
Bison wants to shut Spencer down, so to speak. Spencer wants to keep working on his various insane projects, so. That he's not as good at Ma as Maeve at. I mean, in my opinion, he sucks compared to Maeve. Uh, but. Someone who sucks at such a thing could be dangerous for everyone. Correct. Themselves. Correct. You are putting the pieces together. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Now think about it. If you're on Bison's shit list, who's the only person that could protect you? The, the warden. warden. Yeah. There you sense. go. Aren't there other big names in town? Uh, I don't know. Uh, wasn't Izzy one of the other people that? Izzy. I suppose you'd have to be extremely beholden to one of the higher ups for them to go against Bison, and I don't know if anyone has that kind of pull with them. But. All right. All right. Right on. So, what well, can I, what was that, Izzy? Can I get any, any, uh, hmm. thoughts on <laughs> that? A read on me. <laughs> <It's like laughs> any vibes? A read on Ace or on, on Izzy? Ice. Okay. Yeah, on her, yeah. On you ice? get a big Izzy reaction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put Ace on Ice. Uh, okay, that is a 16. 16. Nice. I would say just from that, you kind of glean that perhaps Bison and Izzy have been at odds before mm -hmm. and that it gets ugly because they're two of the big players in town okay. and that best to avoid a clash between the two of them, both because you know it, it can upend a lot of things, but also because Brunk Hollow is a place where even enemies need a loose alliance because you know there's a lot of dangers out there, whether it's the clinkers or just the wilds. Like, it's a, always a, a careful line that people tread between pissing each other off and getting your way. So yeah, you just get the sense that Bison and Izzy have butted heads before, and that that it's ugly when it happens. Mm -hmm. so, oh, please, what are you about to speak? That's all. That's I the guess. basic information I've got for you. Any questions, team? I ask for a number of reasons why he might go to the warden, but do we have any reason to believe he would be embraced? Is that an angle we can use against him and instead of striking him to say, who the fuck do you think you are? The warden will turn you away immediately. Come with us, we can help you. That actually is a great point and it gets sort of into the next part of my uh, mission brief for you guys. My preferred way of going about this when we get to Spencer would be to say that Bison wants him back. Which is not a lie. It's just a slight omission. Spencer knows he's in trouble. So we need to show up in a way that doesn't necessarily imply how much trouble he's in. Well, he's got a whole arsenal oh. on his back. You, we're gonna put you towards the back. Actually, gonna... I, I I feel like I'm pretty good with people. I could give you my weapon for a moment and just go talk with him and then lure him out and then we just bring him back. How about that is merely defense for ourselves being out here in the dangerous downwheel? I have uh, just a few more pieces of the puzzle for y'all. The area we're going, chock full of dire wolves. Mm. Nice little, little pack area for them, which is part of the reason why Spencer's hiding there. Mm. The other thing is that Spencer, is an alchemist. Booby traps, mm -hmm. left and right. We gotta be careful, we gotta be smart, we gotta be willing to lose our fingers to dismantle an explosive. Excuse me? <laughs> not my forte. <laughs> um, I don't plan on losing any fingers uh, for you or Bison. I do have a practiced hand around traps, though, I will say, so. <laughs> I just, I just, oh my God. That hand, sorry, can I see that hand again? Yeah, that is shaky to all hell. Yeah, but I shoot with this one. I, I disarm traps with this one. <laughs> Steady as a rock. Um, I, I, I mean, <sighs> listen, if you can dismantle, disable, you can keep all the little pieces. You can keep all the pieces of those traps. I don't care. Thank you. Uh, I just mean to say that I do not plan on losing a finger. Again, I think our, we should not approach with violence, mm -hmm. and I don't know if he is willing to go out into this dangerous area on his own simply to get away from Bison. The, the initial approach to just say, he changed his mind. I, 
Would you believe it? We're not saying that he changed his mind. We're just saying that Bison wants him back. Listen, I'm happy to talk ideas and how we want to approach him, but basically there is a scared wild critter cornered in a hole and we have to go and make sure to calm him down or knock him out and bring him back to Bison. This place that he's at, is this where he does all of his experiments normally, or like, is this his lab and he has many concoctions he could throw at us, or how do we... It's it's where he's gone to hide. Okay. Yeah. For how long? How long has he been out there? He's probably been out for a little under a week. Mm-hmm. And you also, you have a couple places, within this area that all the direwolves are in, there's a couple places you want to check. You don't know exactly mm-hmm. where he is. So there's like, there's an old abandoned mine there. There's like a big animal burrow there. So you're planning on checking mm-hmm. where he might be able to hide within this area. So. Mm. But no, it's not his like, like that's not where he goes to do his experiments. Yeah, but he would do it in town. Yeah. yeah. You could say he's been on the lam for about a week or so. Okay. Got a few spots within one area. We're going to check out, flush him out, get him home. Then you not him. Easy peasy. Mm-hmm. Plenty of time to set plenty of traps. Exactly. Do you have a question? Yes, Have absolutely. you had time to catch up? <laughs> yes. Ooh. So, we've tried several times to open with friendliness since we've got here, and it's always not really gone according to plan. I'm guessing that Spencer knows his uncle well enough to know that he's not going to just forgive and forget. So, if there's a way to phrase it that he's still in trouble, but the severity of the trouble is getting lessened or something. He's not gonna just buy that his uncle's suddenly forgiven him when his uncle is who he is. Does I, that make sense? That makes total okay. sense. We can go any way about it, but I do wanna say this. If this mission does not go well, I will make your lives in Brunk Hollow a live in hell. If this mission is a success, I get something that I have wanted for a long time, and it may even benefit you guys. What is it? I'm not gonna fucking tell you yet. This is only your second job with me. Do three and then we'll talk. All right. As I said. There's that number again. Threes. Mm. <laughs> Smug Morna oh walking down the dungeon pass. She's like, hmm, one, two, three trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That being said, Jesus. the delicacy of this mission going right is why I don't necessarily want to run in swords ablazing. Sure. Because that is a higher risk of things going wrong. And like I said, we have to bring back that snotty nose brat alive. Is there, oh. oh sorry, please, go ahead. I believe that you must know him better than we, so we should defer to Ace's expertise in this matter. Well, thanks. I don't know him too well, I'm gonna be honest, but I know how furious Bison is. How snotty is he? I mean, what's his age? Medium snotty, human 20s. He's gotten cocky with all the things that he's been able to do in town. I see. Well, we are a 100% success rate with this group, so <laughs> we will, I assume we'll have a pretty good oh. go at it today. Oh. You'll be happy, I think. I like your confidence and positivity. <laughs> Thank you, Ace. <laughs> Is there anything we can independently offer him? Where if he comes out and at least parlays, like is there, is there something enticing to him that he doesn't already have? I mean, not particularly, <laughs> unless, with like... Do you guys have something enticing? I mean, you don't I, know him, so... Rumor <laughs> rumor has it is that he is waiting on confirmation from the warden for a deal. Oh. Hmm. Okay. And I think that's what he wants most, which is what we don't have. And he I... He doesn't know that, and he doesn't know us. He knows my face, just a little bit. Hmm, he doesn't know us. I don't, I've thought about coming in as a peace treaty between the Lord and Bison, but that's, that gets too fucky too quickly. Mm. Well, I'm more saying, he doesn't know our faces. I could be a clinker. All right, here to escort you. You are Let's awfully go. well-armed for a clinker, Elian. <laughs> what? You're well-armed for a clinker well, and can not give wearing you, the color? You lack I'll leave the it colors. by a tree or something until we've <laughs> grabbed his arms and I'll grab him up. Elian's like, they're not attached to me. <laughs> 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 I can't drop. <laughs> I mean, listen, that's fine by me. I think I want to find 
exactly. I got these few spots I want to check out. Great. And depending on which one we think he's in, I think that'll inform our uh, our game plan for the day. Yeah? Amazing. Very well. Oh. TC, you look stressed. I, I'm a little stressed. <laughs> uh, Is he always like this? Can yes. I, uh, can I, <laughs> I already, <laughs> yes. Do you see seem different? Uh, give me an insight check. Oh. Um, I am proficient. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, five. Uh, he seems a little tired this morning. Other Imagine. than that, that's that's all you can pick up on. Fit, seems like, he fit, fit, yeah, seems like he was stretched a little thin yesterday. Gotcha. Yes. Uh, yeah, as I say, a fitful sleep. But I am ready for this. All right. All right. Lead the way to the first location, then. Fetch and retrieve. Let's do it. <laughs> Continue down Detention Pass a little ways. Again, sort of popping up here and there, some of those uh, clinker patrols. A couple of them. Most of them kind of regard you with a polite but not nice sort of nod, sort of unsmiling, sort of acknowledging your presence without mm. being friendly about it. There's a pair of them that are walking up and down the path at one point that you pass by. And one of them is sort of a little, uh, younger human man with sort of the scruffy beginnings of a beard. And the one next to him, he's got kind of gray in his hair. And as you're just passing them by, the sort of younger man just turns to the group and reports of uh, increased crew thick activity if you headed out into the weald. Thank yes you kindly. Yesterday's rainfall flooded up a cavern, flushed them out it seems. Hmm. And as he's talking to you, the older one kind of bumps him and he looks and almost as if to say, you know, don't associate with the non-clinkers, the non-people uh, mm -hmm. longer for contrition, and just keep an eye, keep an eye out. That's all I'm saying. Appreciate I, your help. I give him a wink. <laughs> what, did, what did he say? Kruthix. K R U T H I K. And what are they? They're sort of um, reptiles with a hard shell. Uh, mm -hmm. They they can vary in size. The young ones are sort of almost. They could be as small as like cat sized and then as as big as, you know, even like a uh, like a tiger size. Like they can be bigger. They range a lot in sizes. And they have these kind of pointed sharp limbs that they kind of stab at enemies with. And they usually live underground. They they're like burrowing creatures, but as he just said to you, like when there's a heavy rainfall, they sometimes come up out of the ground to get away from the water that's seeping down. Worm boys. <laughs> we, we dealt with those in campaign one. I we did at one point. We mm -hmm. did. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> scary. <laughs> Continue your walk. All right. Just as you can start to see what you are assume are the exterior walls of the prison rising above the tree line in front of you, above the canopies, Ace changes her trajectory just off to the northeast, and you leave detention pass behind you. Once again, you marvel at how quickly the transition happens between like a settlement and feeling like you're in unbounded wilderness. Like a moment ago, it felt like you were walking among people, carts, wagons, civilization. And then five minutes later, it feels like it's nothing in every direction. It just has that incredible ability to flip on a dime like that. The ground here isn't quite as even as it was further west when you guys were either doing the scouting sort of, or even at the troglodyte cave further up in that direction. And the terrain is bumpier, it's rockier. Uh, the sight lines are worse because you're kind of going up and down a little bit. You're sort of not quite climbing, but sort of working your way up little ridges and then back down again. Ace, from reports of your own scouting, you know to, what to be looking for next. What you're looking for is a series of small streams and rivers that have cut down into the rock, giving them very steep banks. So they're almost like mini canyons. I mean, it's not super far down, but as opposed to a nice sort of sloped river bank, it's sort of, there's like a right angle, like a little drop. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of these, these little rivers and streams that cut through. Fortunately, with their proximity to the prison, there are several crossing points. They've made crossing points to make it easier to come to and fro. <laughs> Most of them are very simple wood and rope suspension bridges because they're not meant for horses or large vehicles. They're simply meant for foot travel. And if you recall correctly, there is one larger stone crossing currently under construction that might offer a sturdier path, but it is owned, owned and operated by the clinkers. So you might have to pay a fee or they might turn you away entirely. So your plan is to stick to the simpler sort of unsupervised options. You walk for 
20, 30 minutes. It's a nice long walk here, peeling off from Detention Pass. You're encouraged after that amount of time to hear something other than the sounds of your own footsteps trudging through the grass and the kind of low leafy plants here. It sounds like there's a river rushing up ahead. But just as you're conjuring up images in your head of refilling your canteens with some nice crisp, cool river water, you hear something else as well. It's a series of abrupt interjections. Seemingly a person's voice, but not forming any words that you could make out. Sort of a, ha! 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 Like someone yelling at something, but getting nothing in response. As far as you can tell, it's a one-sided exchange. You just hear this, ha! 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 Over and over and over again. And other than, it, it, it's hard to hear anything else and hear if there's anything sort of happening in response to these, because the sound of the river, is sort of covering any kind of quiet noise other than those sort of mm -hmm. interjections that cut through the sound of the river. Mm. It's very hard to tell if the voice is getting closer or moving further away. You sort of listen for a moment and those sort of plosive noises, it doesn't sound like it's making a lot of headway in either direction. You'd estimate that you're probably still maybe 100, 200 feet or more from the water's edge. You're just starting to pick up the sounds of the river. And with so many trees kind of still in the way, you might have to creep a little closer to get a better look. So as soon as you hear it, you all kind of look around at each other and you sort of stop and listen. <laughs> hear that kind of over and over and over again. Any familiarity to the uh, hoots and hollers? Sometimes people do that at bears, but don't say that. I meant, does that sound like Spencer to you? Could no. you recognize his hoots? <laughs> he doesn't, but also you, Ooh, he's not, no. he might have to hear this actual no. voice before. Hold up, hold up. Who wants to go ahead and scout? There are bears out here? Oh, yeah. Just wondering if, bars. then I would, I'm just not very, if, little, a little oh, twitchy with, geez. little twitchy with the bears. No, I'd just huh? like to know what's out there. Um, I'm not very, I'm very loud, so maybe it's not best if I go. <sighs> TC puts his hat kind of down a little bit on his head and just, <laughs> I'll be back, and I'll Surprise. just kind of get low and... Don't do anything rash. I shan't, my dear. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a stealth check. Come on, buddy. Please. Oh, uh, that's a natural 20. Now. Nah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought it was a two for a second, but there was a zero natural <laughs> <laughs> As soon as TC volunteers, everyone kind of turns back to sort of look at each other, and then when you look back, TC is already sort of moving tree to tree to tree. As he's moving, everybody else give me perception checks. Yippee. You don't see shit. <laughs> Finally. 14. 17. 17. 9. 9. 18. 18. Yes! Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Everyone on this side of the table, you, you've got a little bit accustomed at this point to having to wait for a moment while TC sort of scouts up ahead as he's volunteered for before. And you take that time to just listen, and once again, the, the shouting doesn't stop. Sometimes it's not like regular intervals, but it'll go ha, ha, and then like a quiet and then ha, ha. So it happens irregularly. In addition to that, as you're sort of standing there waiting, you just look around at your surroundings a little bit. And this rocky terrain, sometimes grass, sometimes rock, kind of transitions back and forth into each other. But you look over and there's kind of a boulder off to your left that has like a hole in it about this big. And not like, a hole in the earth like an animal dug, like an almost perfectly circular hole drilled directly into the rock. Like almost like just a perfect circle. You see that off to your left and you kind of look around and then we'll say Ilian spots that one. Doxley looks over and she sees another one. It is in the earth, but again, almost like a flawless circle just going straight down that's maybe eight, 12, 16 inches in diameter, a little hard to tell. And Morna, you look elsewhere, you see another one. So there's a number of these little holes all around. And as far as you can tell, as you kind of peer over at them, you don't see the end of the hole. Like it's just oh, black, God. like it just disappears into nothing. So you see a number of these holes all around, like in a number of different places. Number. Mm. Mm. Does anybody see these? <laughs> Are we in, holes? like, the holes around us, are we sort of in the center of it? 
I want to be on higher ground, like okay. a little bit. Just sure, you to... can. There isn't like high ground in the sensor, but yes, you can stand up on just kind of like a nearby hill or ridge or something. Yeah. And you take a peek around. It doesn't seem. Were you asking if you're in the center of it or something? Uh, somebody else. Oh, somebody else said that. Said that? that was. Uh, oh, yes. yeah. It it doesn't look like there's like a pattern or anything to them. Oh, yeah, cool. there's some. As you get up on the rock, now that you've been alerted to them, you see some off in the distance. Like they're kind of dispersed all throughout cool. the forests here. All right. Does it uh, look like Kruthik? Like, is that what Kruthik? Give me a nature check. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's good, uh, but a minus. Uh, so 17. 17. Nice. You have never encountered one personally. Mm -hmm. You've read about them in books. They're notorious in your line of work as a mason Aww. because they drill underneath buildings that can cause them to collapse. They're like, they act like big ass termites that can like <laughs> collapse the integrity of the building. So you're aware of their existence and the holes <laughs> look like they could be punched through by Kruthix. Yes. Got it. Um, I think that these holes might belong to Kruthix. That makes sense with what the clinker said. <laughs> Little fuckers. <laughs> As you guys are thinking on that, <laughs> TC, you tiptoe forward a little further. And when there's only one or two more rows of trees sort of in your line of sight before the river, you crane your neck, you look through some of the branches, and you can see what's causing the commotion. There's a dwarven man, maybe in his early-ish 40s, with a large hiker's knapsack. So it's strapped to his shoulders and his waist. Like it's a big, like it goes, it's almost up to his head and then all the way past his, his butt. Like it's that, it's that hefty. And he has this backpack strapped to both his shoulders and his waist and he's waving a lit torch, even though it's light out, back and forth. And on the other side of him is a small reptilian creature with a very chitinous shell and very sharp little pointed <laughs> limbs. Mm -hmm. The man is perhaps maybe a fifth or a quarter of the way across the narrow bridge that spans the water here. And his back is to you. He can't see you as you're approaching. Yeah. And he's taking very slow, painstaking steps backward. Like he's trying to keep the Kruthik at bay while slowly moving. He's moving toward you, but his yeah. back is to you. So he's walking backwards. Yeah. And as he's shuffling back, he continues, ha! Ah! Back and forth. It's like a standoff of sorts between these two. You can tell the creature is skittish about the flame. Like every time he waves it, it sort of reacts a little bit to the flame. But it hasn't seen enough to sort of give up its pursuit. And with each step back the man takes, the young Kruthik sort of takes one step forward and uses those little spikes to kind of jam into the boards and get further along. So between him and the creature is less than five feet. Like they're that okay. close to each other. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> couple of questions. Mm -hmm. How far away are they from me right now? Um, let me tell you. You are about, uh, we'll say a hundred feet. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Secondly, um, Spencer Stott, nephew of Bison. I've met Bison. He's not a dwarf. He was, he was, a, he was a human. Uh, bison is a human. Yes. Okay, yeah. so it stands to reason that unless it came, she didn't, you didn't say it was a dwarf, but. I think she actually said he human. Was a human. Said it was exactly. A so reasonably, this is not Spencer. Okay, 100 feet away. The other, the other question. Just shoot him right in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other question was mm -hmm. the way that he's kind of, he's getting backed up by this thing, but is there any sense to it that he's almost corralling this thing. Like he's in charge of the situation. Um, give me a perception check. Okay. He's entirely in charge of the situation. <laughs> uh, 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 24. 24. It does not seem like he's intentionally luring this okay. creature, if that's, what it, if that's what you're asking, yeah. Okay. Um, a couple times the creature like takes an extra step forward and he like ah, ah, sort of tries to just sort of get it to scare it a little bit to have it move back a little bit. And. I have a pretty good sight of them and the other side of the bridge. Do I see any other Kruthix? I just see the one. Uh, I will say with that perception check, it's too far to really see the other side, but you, after seeing that Kruthik, give a quick pass around and look over to your left where there's a nice big hole in the ground. There's no, you don't see a creature, but you see another Kruthik hole sort of, so there, there could be more than one conceivably. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, 
how far how far away have I gotten away from them? Like how quickly could I get back to report? I mean, seventy five feet, like not that far. Yeah. Seventy five, but it would take time. Like he would get backed up another, you know, twenty paces by the time I went. Maybe not that. that. He's moving very slowly. Okay. Like he takes a step and sort of makes sure the crew that isn't getting any closer. And he waits like a few seconds. Okay, then takes another slow step. So I'll he's moving. He's inching across the bridge. I'll take the time then. I'm gonna quickly and quietly come back. Dwarf, hiker's pack, holding off one Kruthik about a hundred uh, uh, paces away from the edge of the woods. Should I help take the Kruthik out? Great, yeah, let's go. Does the description sound so familiar to me at all? No, it doesn't. Like, I mean, that was pretty vague, but uh, is that it does the, not sound familiar to you. Is that the direction we want to go? Should I help clear that Kruthik right here from the edge of the... Is that the yeah, point? you're intending to cross the river, yeah. so yeah. Yes. I've got a beat on it, right. and yep. I'm gonna keep quickly it, keep it brief. Shh, quiet. And <laughs> shut, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll give a holler if things go bad, and I'm gonna get try to get back up right to where I was. Okay. Give me one more stealth check. Can we back up again? Oh, oh that's as he's doing that. Can we like, can we like quietly signal to one another to kind of we'll form move. and be like a little bit of a group in case the other holes have Kruthix come out of them when we do this? Sure. So that yeah. we're all together or something. <sighs> Stealth is uh, 14. 14, okay. Try to get back up to where I was quietly, and I'm gonna line it up. <sighs> now, <sighs> do I want to? Yeah, do you. Do all right, you. all right. All <laughs> do you see it? it? Tisei takes a, an extra oh, breath and holds it. Okay. Time seems to slow a little bit. <sighs> and I'm gonna use my sharpshooter feet. Yes! I will take Go ahead and read it. it. Uh, it's the first oh, time we're uh, seeing uh, it. Once again, they leveled up last stream and in this campaign, there's no ASIs, no ability scoring improvements. It's feats only and the feat that you have chosen. Sharpshooter, I have mastered ranged weapons and can make shots that others find impossible. I gain the following benefits. Attacking at long range doesn't impose disadvantage on your ranged weapon roll attacks. Your ranged weapon ignores half cover and three quarters cover. And before you make an attack with a ranged weapon that you are proficient with, you can choose to take a minus five penalty on the attack roll. If it hits, add 10 to the attack's damage. Oh, man. So, I am a hidden uh, uh, attacker. You are, yes, you're an unseen attacker. My hand crossbow is 3120, so within 120, I am no longer within. disadvantaged. Yep. But I am advantaged as an unseen. Mm -hmm. I will take a minus five penalty to this roll. Yeah. So it's a minus five penalty, oh. and what's your attack modifier? My attack modifier is plus six. So you're just so adding add one. one to this Ooh, advantaged roll. Amazing. And then I will be a, a sneak attack plus 10 if it hits. Let's go. Please. Uh, uh, 19. 19 to will hit. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. These two okay. Shells, I think so. Have... The dwarf, oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say. <laughs> I am in the group. I am in the group. Like, headshot him. God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, baby. Man. So that's 15 plus 10 is 25 plus 4 is 29 damage. Ooh. 29 damage. Gotta be down. Oh. Sharpshooter. <laughs> the bolt travels through the air and even sort of a, a, accounting for the breeze that's sort of coming through and the spray of the water, the bolt and the guy has just waved his torch off to the right and the bolt sails over his shoulder and sticks into the crew that and the creature sort of recoils a little bit. You can see its, its <laughs> limbs sort of popping up and it's stabbing into the wooden boards beneath, beneath it. And it rears back up. Oh no. <laughs> and the dwarven man holding the torch looks back. No! <laughs> Roll it. Oh. No, you didn't kill it! How did I not what kill it? I have 20 I 29. Oh, wow. Well, oh, holy fuck. Yeah. How did I not kill it? I always feel like I'm counting cards in poker nice. when I'm counting HP. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait. 29? Oh, oh no, oh. the D. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. The D. Oh, God. Am I. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, are we all rolling initiative? Yes, right. everybody's rolling. Okay. Um, once everybody is oh. squared away. 30 to 35? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, 20 to 25. 20, not Nat. Ooh, let me uh, nice. roll for them. Oh, nah. oh, what a cool. I hate going first. Okay, and then uh, 15 to 19. 
Doc's got a 19, Ooh, loser. Nice, nice. Um, okay, one second. Uh, 10 to 14. 12. Jeez, you guys. I know. Okay, uh, five to nine. I got five. Nine. Okay. Five more. All right. Yeesh. And then, right. uh. Okay, uh, yes. Brand. Uh, dwarf mm. has ooh, yuck, uh, three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Maybe. And uh, 14 for the adult <laughs> Kruthic. Okay. Okay. So the order goes Ace, Doc, uh, the Kruthic, Ilian, TC, Morna, the Dwarf. Wow, wow. <laughs> Shall we turn on? Who's our gonna monitors? get One fucked? Oh, he's in melee range too. Oh, he's gonna be <laughs> dicey. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. I We're cannot believe I didn't. Animal handling. Yeah, that's, that I was can't crazy. Yeah. Twenty nine damage. That man is dead. <laughs> he's fine. He's a stout dwarf. Okay, Take everybody, may turn their monitors on. Yeah. Pretending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Oh, I love shoot, shoot sharp. Yeah, that's an awesome shot. Feels baby. Good. So good. happy that you hit the first one. I know. That was close. <laughs> oh. 18 Ooh. was, wait, I, wait, it was a 19, wasn't it, to hit? That was close. I told you close. these things have natural armor they, and they got the yeah, 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 so, Oh my god. All right, no more, right, no more sharp down. shooting. It's all <laughs> wait, what advantage. Did, what did you roll? So, so you... I, I rolled a 19 to hit. Oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> No more, don't okay. fuck around with sharpshooter like I did. Don't. 19 to <laughs> hit. Tell you what to do. Don't give away my shit. All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, we are looking at the bridge here over the water that has the dwarf facing off against oh, the Gruthic there. How? Shit. And in addition to that, we have TC hiding kind of by the tree line here that was firing off. You just hear, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, you guys are actually a little further back than this. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that you you guys are all 30 feet of movement, is that correct? Yeah. 25. 25. Even so, oh, with the first. Us. We'll say that if you use all your movement, you will be here where I have you. Gotcha. We'll say that you were another okay. 30 feet back from the edge there. So if you use all your movement, you are at the edge of this sort of terrain. Here. Not counting dashes? <laughs> Not counting dashes, just your regular movement. Yep. Okay. Okay, who's up? Ace. First? Woo! Ace, you're up. All right. Uh, I will take all my movement uh, to get to where we are now. Great. Um, and then we're trying to cross the bridge. Yeah, that's where you're trying. There's, this isn't the only crossing, but they're pretty far apart. Like you would walk a ways to right. get to the next one. So yeah, it would are, be. Are there any other of these little scaly creatures that I can see like on the other side? Uh, give me a perception check. Ooh, yeah, good question. Oh. Oh, that's a two, which becomes a one. Not that you can tell. The only thing that you feel is a little bit of oh. rumbling oh. beneath your foot. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. okay. You all would have done the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm bummed you didn't. It's not your fault. You okay. did good. You did good. You're great. I am, thank you. Okay, so I run up and I say, all right, team, just remember, this is not our mission today. Let's just get through in one piece, okay? Cross the bridge, keep running. That's the plan. Understood. <laughs> and then, yeah, I guess that's my whole move. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to dash? This wasn't your dash. This oh yeah, the, I'll dash as well. Um, we have the new uh, Ace model here of her. Yeah, yeah. Up. Yes. She's so cute. Um, so yes, another twenty-five feet you can go. You can basically almost up to TC there. Perfect. <laughs> TC's like. Wait, <laughs> 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 <Away> my position. <laughs> um, okay, who's next? Oh, it's me. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay, um, I'm going to move toward the, the bridge. So this was, the, your movement that is, is this. Movement. Yep. All right, I'm gonna, I'll use a dash action. Do you want to take the outside there? Do you want to cut through these trees? What would you like? Um, where am I seeing holes? Um, <laughs> all around Shut you. Up. Yeah, baby. All, like, uh, there's a couple definitely in this rock off to your left here, and then maybe a couple in the dirt over here, one in the rock over here. Okay, I'll take that, I'll take that uh, uh, southwestern road then, just hiding it. Uh, Great. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. This direction? Yes. Great. 30 please. feet in that way, all your movement? Yes. Yeah. Keep moving. Okay. <laughs> um, and and uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. All right, after that, it's the Kruthik. Um, are Singular. You, uh, Yes. So there's only one. You are, oh, you used your dash, never mind. I was gonna say, you are within range of your, uh, I of can't. your, yes. I guess I get bonus action, but I don't want to. Okay. Uh, well, that dude is gonna get smoked. It's okay. Uh, 
Okay, then we'll have we'll be able to cross the bridge. <laughs> oh my god. Happy <laughs> falls. Clean and clear. Yeah. Uh, bystander's a bystander. Would I have a clean shot of the cruise from where I am right here? Or is that gonna be tricky? Um you can shoot through allied creatures and this man is effectively an allied How creature. far? That looks like it's just out of hundred feet. Oh, 100. There? Yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah, fuck it. I'll I'll, awesome. I'll use a I'll use a bonus. Bonus thing. Okay. I can do What's that, right? Oh, thing? wait, hold on. Let me see. Can I make a weapon attack? Uh, as a bonus action, use weapon attack with a weapon. Okay, yeah, I want to make sure I didn't have to also be making an attack with my action. Yeah, I'll use a superiority dodge. Great. Mm. Um, so take charging forward, dashes forward, doxly moving as quick as you possibly can, and with each step that you take, you too feel the just a little... Each time you step... Oh, oh, that's not good. Rumbling under your feet, oh, but you use yeah. the momentum of your sprint to hurl one of these. Big I'll ones. also use. I'm not activating sharpshooter, but I'm gonna be using the no disadvantage. Okay, no disadvantage at the range. Still not gonna do it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a poopy. Wait, what, what gets added? Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, if, if I hit, that's the damage. Okay, um, mm. that's a ten to hit. That will miss. Great. That one, the javelin goes flying through the air. It goes over the head of the Kruthik, and what was the total to hit? Ten. Ten to hit. Don't shoot. Clink! Splashes into the water down below after ah! hitting us. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bastard! Oh, no. That's my turn. Well, okay, who's won. next? Uh, after Doc, oh, sorry, it's the Kruthik. Okay, the Kruthik. Agitated and screeching with its sort of quiet, chitinous sounds, comes forward and it's just gonna attack the door. Oh, no. Yeah, I tried, buddy. I tried. Uh, this is a multi attack. Anyone who can hold the sword is totally two fine. stabbing attacks <laughs> with its front wounds Ooh, there. Okay. Ooh, he's not. Uh, natural one on one of them Ooh, and a yay. 17 on the second one. That will hit. Um, oh boy. He takes seven piercing damage. <laughs> Oh, he was still facing TC during that moment. Oh. So he was like, no, no, oh, shit. And now he turns back around to sort of defend himself there. Oh, no. TC's just like. Oh, no. <laughs> That's <pretty> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <sighs> okay. Um, okay, that's his two attacks. It can't move past him there, so that's the end of the creature's turn. Okay, Ilian. Um, any shot, I have line of sight of the creature. Uh, let's find out. Oh my god, um, throwing so a dagger, this, you little dingus. <laughs> this <laughs> takes 30 feet of movement to get here, remember? Yeah. And then, that big fat are you light. longbowing? Is that the I was idea? thinking about it. What's the range on the longbow? 150 to 600. Is disadvantage. It is in the non disadvantage range, however, because you're threading the needle, it I'm gonna say he has like half cover. So he has a little uh, extra AC from ooh. not being able to quite find the shot. There. No, I think it's more important. I'm gonna uh, go to where Doc is, just use my dash. Okay. And get right up next to Doc. Oops. And instead of taking my longbow, I'm just gonna make sure I have my great sword out, ready to use. Great. Just in front of Doxley there, draws his yep. great sword. You can hear the sound that you've, a very familiar sound of sort of alien drawing the long sword or the great sword. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay. TC. All right. I'm going to try to use its uh, 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 attack pattern and the rush of my friends up to the side. Possibly try to use a cunning action hide here, even if I have to move a little bit. Uh, okay, um, give me a stealth check. Okay. This is going to be contested against something you cannot see as the creatures have tremor sense as you can feel the vibrations oh. in the ground. <laughs> so the ones underneath can tell where you are oh. up, up above That's the surface. That's air of oh. Okay. Hate that. <laughs> 16. <gasps> you do not, you are not hidden. Okay. Oh, damn. This is well, brutal. Um, Okay, uh, <laughs> that was my bonus action. In addition to the vibrations that you can feel in that moment where you feel like you're trying to obscure yourself, you hear that sound again. <laughs> but oh. not coming from the creature on the bridge. They seem to be kind of communicating back and forth so they can tell where things are. Okay. All right, oh. and I'm, sound. then yeah. uh, TC is, oh. fuck this, and, and like you get up and starting to run down the bridge okay. uh, from my movement, 30 feet. Does that get me to the bridge? Uh, yeah, 20 feet gets you to the edge of the bridge there. Great. Um, I'll go another 
five. Uh, sure. 25. Um, could people conceivably run past me? If uh, you can move through an allied a person's space. It's difficult terrain, so it takes 10 feet instead of five to move through an allied space. Uh, can I stay kind of at the mouth of it just so people could get past me if they if they needed to? Yeah. All right. Um, you can kind of be here, but off to the side just a little I'll bit. I'll do yeah. that, and I'll go ahead and try to take another shot at it. Okay. Uh, just regular ass yeah, shot. Within range there, yeah. 13 to hit. That's gonna miss. Oh boy. <laughs> this time, knowing that you're kind of coming, it like curls up into a little ball and <laughs> the bolt knocks off of its shell and it comes back out. Shit. <laughs> um, I still have, I don't know. Where, <laughs> if I were to stay on this side of the bridge, where's the farthest area from holes? <laughs> like, where, where am I seeing holes right uh, now? Give me a perception check. Oh, man. Uh, um, so 15. 15. They're, they're kind of all around you. As you were moving up, you saw three or four over here and maybe only like one over here. So on that side, there appears to be less of them okay. in that direction. Then I'm going to come just off of the bridge to the right. Okay. Uh, yeah, like right up against it so that I could conceivably sure. run down it next turn. Yep. Give people room. Yeah. Okay. All right. All okay. right, after TC, it's Morna. Morna. Okay, I'm going to rage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Roll. Oh, it's uh, 17. Okay, excellent. <laughs> yeah, 17 to rage. Um, <laughs> raging, uh, and I'm gonna take a dash action to get as close as I can. Okay, um, moving the, in the same moving way that's... in the same like direction as the terror one. Great, yeah. sort of in a little pack there in the middle. You can see everybody there. And then um, that that's kind of all I can do. Okay, that's my turn. That's your turn. Oh, all right, after Mo uh, Morta, it's the dwarf. Uh, the dwarf, okay. So, he's going to make an attack here. Oh my god. Um, he does have, uh, as he's waving that torch back and forth, but he does draw like a blade. He seems to have a short sword that he has that he pulls out and stabs toward the Kruthic. Hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it, natural one. No! <laughs> stabs toward the Kruthic, and the Kruthic, using its sort of pointed leg, bang, knocks the short sword. Oh, and it goes. No. No. Splashes into the water. Right with my jet. And you can see him now sort of waving the torch back and forth. Oh Once again, he turns kind of back in your direction, sort of loosely understanding yeah. where it sort of TC fired from. And he turns back and sort of, get your ass over here! They're coming! We'll cut the bridge on the other side! And he goes back and attacks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so right, King. Um, can we just punt this thing off the bridge? Like, can we just make it off? Push it? Lift oh, and push? Oh, like, <laughs> there is grappling and shoving and all kinds three. of things like that. You know I love me a grapple. Oh, um, okay, that's his turn there. Okay. Oh, okay. He top can't move through the enemy things. space. Top of the lineup there. As we reach the top of the lineup, that rumbling gets a little stronger, and you look over to where some of those holes in the rock are, and first you just see like, like a couple little claw oh. limbs, and then they pull themselves out through the holes, and you start to see more of these Kruthics emerge. Most of them, as you see, are smaller than the one on the bridge. Not all of them appear to be sort of fully matured okay. Kruthics, but there are a couple that are sort of larger in size. And before we get too deep, this is actually where we're gonna go on our break. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we're sort of in the thick oh. of it, but I don't wanna go too, if we push all the way through, we might go yeah. way, way deep. So, uh. but as the okay. Kruthics are emerging, a little time to strategize, strategize. here. And uh, we will come back and we will uh. finish off the Kruthic play. We yeah. will, yeah. <laughs> successfully. <laughs> yeah. I know it, I feel it. Oh yeah. Uh. All right, everybody, uh, as always, enjoy the uh, puzzles and games during the break. Yeah, yeah get your Brunkalo Powerball numbers ready. If Brunk you're watching on TikTok, hello, thank yes, you for watching. Um, we're gonna just go offline for 15 minutes to take a quick break and then go back online after 15 minutes. Um, so check us out then. Awesome. Yeah. Anything, anything? All right, strategy time. Oh See you on the other side, everybody. Bye. Bye. Stop it. <laughs> Absolutely stop. <laughs> you asked me. Poco Doka says, sounds wunderbar. Wunderbar, wunderbar. darn yes. it. Everyone's saying nice things about Let's my hat. Yeah. You don't have to go comprehensively. Feats you're considering? Do you want to shout some out that you're just considering? Do people want to know what was on yes. the... Oh, I yes. Oh, yes. Haskell? Oh, oh yeah. Come on, yeah. please. Yeah, yeah, where's your hat, bitch? I got a big head, too. And that one stuffed on my dome. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Oh. <laughs> there was a moment in the baths where I was like, 
<laughs> thinking about like TC puts his head back and just. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Can, there's a question about the solo session that's very much revealing what it is. Can I ask it? I mean, people are gonna yeah. watch this. They're gonna watch it. Oh, I'm gonna watch it. Bang, 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 bang. If the Gorianon comes a walking into town. I actually, I don't want to say anything about that. <gasps> Just for now. I fucking <laughs> um, We're thrilled that you all are here supporting us. We love you all very much. We will see you next week, and we will dive back in. Welcome back, everybody. Um, we are we are deep into the Kruthic fights Woo! and on our way to finding Mr. Spencer Stott. You know. But before we dive right back into combat at the top of the round. Yep. Oh, nope, to... I gotcha. Right. Oh, get, 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 get out of here. Just I'm kidding. sorry. What if no, I appreciate your assistance. You're very sweet. I'm not stalling in any way. I don't believe you. In any way, <laughs> am I not stalling? I'm inside. Uh, Uber Nine gifted us a sub. Baird acknowledged, resubscribed. Dead Aussie Gamer rated us. Hello, if you're still here, thank you again. Uh, GF Powers resubscribed. Jack Kerouac subscribed with Prime. Did you know you can do that for free if you're a Prime member? Phil subscribed and Master Dark resubscribed. Your Periwinkle friend at 500. Twitched at 50. <laughs> Twitched at another 30 because Low Brass Guy did 300. Mm, yeah. uh, Avenger 2660 subscribed. Singular. Oh, I'm so sorry. Singular Roleplay rated us, and I totally missed hey. it. Oh, it was like right when we we're going to break anything. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the Brunk Hollow yeah. Powerball if you <laughs> stopped by. Uh, Low Brass Guy cheered four bits. Ali Slater did 100 bits. Sir Garrett resubscribed. And then Sounds Hell Jack cool. subscribed. Thank you so, much. Yeah. Thank so you. much. Cheers to all of mm -hmm. you. Low Brass Guy's you. bits were to say, don't die, TC, so you can't kill TC now because Low Brass gave bits. Oh. <laughs> Low Brass Is gave that? Bits. I did notice that he ran away from the bridge like a wee coward. Oh, oh. I was making room for my friends. <laughs> All right, let's bring okay. the battle map back. Didn't want to get complaints about my giant ass being in the way or some <laughs> shit. I mean, Erica's not here, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we get to the top of the round once more, and emerging <laughs> from the holes in the rock and the earth are a number of Kruthics. We have one what? more larger oh, Kruthic over yeah. here. No, I don't like that. And two no, uh -huh. smaller Kruthics. Feel free to punch me. Oh, thank you. No me. babies. Uh, totally punch me. me. <laughs> And then oh a couple God. over <laughs> here. <laughs> it's flying. Was running just about 5,000 saying, please die, DC. Oh, 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 was that more than the other one? Yes. Yeah. By, <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Was running. Thank you, was running. That's <laughs> thank you very that's much. Wow. It's not sweet at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but thank you. Okay, we're at the top. I'm gonna roll for, okay. uh, we need to add, one of them was an adult Kruthic, so that'll go at the same time as the other, but we need to do young Kruthic. Mm. How much movement do oh. you think those uh, guys got? 11, <laughs> 11 for the young Kruthic. I think it's a civilian. Think of the bridge, we just gotta be on the other side. Ah. And we're starting at the top of the lineup, right? All right, we are starting at the top. Ace it is. Ace All right. it is. Um, how far will a, Full run dash sprint hail mary. Is that fifty feet? So yeah. about thirty to get to the edge of the bridge. Okay. So then you'd have another twenty five kind of onto the bridge. Let's there. do it. We're just gonna keep running. All right, thirty, and then your total's fifty, right? Yeah. Yes, because twenty five. Yeah. Yep. And then um, 20. and then uh, I don't know if I want to bonus Cross the boards. No, that's it. That's it. Okay, who's next? Uh, Doc. Right. Doc's up. All right, I'm gonna move my. So poles. you can hear the yeah. skittering of little sort of claws on the rock as they pull themselves free from the tunnels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna move my full thirty toward that bridge. Okay, gets kind of just about ten feet behind okay. Ace. And then how many more feet to to get near the guy, the dwarf? He, yeah, he is another 60 feet, 60, 65 feet from you. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, does he look rough after that last hit? Uh, give me a perception check. It's a little mm. far away. He doesn't have a fucking sword anymore. Oh, 16. 16. Ooh. He looked like he took a good lick there. In addition to that, that's a decent roll. He looks like he has a couple wounds on him that are not Kruthic wounds. Like he has a wrapped bandage on his arm there that looks like it has a little blood, so maybe not the first scuffle he's been in today. Okay, and then can I just see where my companions are at? Yes, so yeah, uh, I can light it up here. So oh, there's great. TC, many. Ilian, Morna, and, uh, and Ace is ahead of me. Rust eater. <laughs> yeah, gonna, they're not rust eaters. I'm gonna 
fully fucking regret this, but I'm gonna try to hit, throw another javelin, oh. maybe, and, yeah. and, and hit the him. One in and hit the Kruthik, yeah, Great. that's yep. in front of him. Yep. He's already ah. really wounded. I mean, it's not disadvantage, uh -oh. 70 feet away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I believe in you. It's not gonna do it. <laughs> Love, light, and positivity. I'm trying to, oh, uh, you know what, I'm gonna, can use another superiority die. Okay. Nice. And I'm going to use precision attack so I can expend the superiority die. And add, oh, wait. Add it to the roll. Yeah, you don't this get a new I roll. Fucking do? Wait, oh, wait. Huh? You don't get a new roll. Yeah, no. Add it to the attack roll. Do it. Mm. What do you need a max roll? I think I would need a max roll. I rolled a nine. Oh, wait. Plus stuff. Plus your oh modifier. Gosh. Fuck it, let's fucking do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Okay, everybody, let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Uh, so take a couple yeah. steps onto good. the edge of the good bridge there. The dice. Yeah. Ace ducks and... Four, 13, 18 to hit. That will hit. Yes! Yes! Let's go, ducks, Lee. You can use the maneuver before or after. Okay, uh, roll for damage. Yeah, so but it doesn't add to the damage. It only adds to the damage. All right, the D6 you. plus four. Four, seven damage. Seven, seven piercing. Damage. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> that once again, the guy's sort of moving his torch back and forth, and he watches a javelin travel over his shoulder. Oh! <laughs> Stick into the crew thick and. <laughs> and it brings up one of its sort of slashing limbs and she fucking cuts the javelin oh. in half. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it takes like a staggering step back and then one forward again. It's alive, but it looks like it's absolutely. Mm. It's like on Death its door. absolute last All limbs right. there. Okay. Just one more hit, you guys. Javelin! <laughs> um, okay, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, next up is the kip, uh, kip, kip, the, the thing. <laughs> Don't. It's crew fix. The crew fix. <laughs> All right. With its dying breath here, it's gonna take another swipe. Come on, buddy. The oh. dwarf what? on Stay the bridge. Us. Come on, man. Um, two attacks here, two man. stabbing attacks. Your no, teeth going no. ham. On you. Uh, another natural one. Yes. And then a fourteen. Who's going ham on me? Matthew. What? 14 your is going to miss. So both of yeah. those are yes. So staggering a little bit, it kind of weakly stabs to. forward he and he uses the kind of end of his torch <laughs> to disarm one way and then he whoop, dodges out of the way of the nice. next one there. Neo. Okay, we're gonna, go to, <laughs> we're gonna go to the <laughs> other adult Oh, no. oh god. god. Um, oh, and it's, it's so far. pretty much just gonna get to the closest target. So far. Oh, god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. All right. Oh god, oh, hurry up! Everyone hurry. Okay. 40 feet? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. And right Ilian down. indeed yeah, yeah, yeah. is going to take... <laughs> no, hit me! Flashing strikes there. Oh yeah, you gotta take some damage. Yeah. Um, oh shit. Uh, 16 plus 16. Natural 20 on one of those. Oh, and a 14 to hit. 14 will miss. 14's gonna miss. Okay, natural 20. Okay. What's your, what's your massive damage? Uh, higher than that. I know, no, we haven't seen oh. the damage yet. Oh, limit. 26. Okay, okay. Eight. No. Uh, no, that's wrong, because that's 52, not 42. So 12 20. piercing damage. Ooh. 12 piercing. He's fine. Okay, and okay. then with heavy armor master. Uh, Sorry, Um, 13 piercing damage, sorry. Okay. Oh yeah, because mine, you're minus you, right? Yeah, so. And please read heavy oh! armor master. Oh! Um, so I get to increase my strength score by one, so I did that. Nice. And then while you are wearing heavy armor, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage that you take from non-magical attacks is reduced by three. Great. Nice. So I take Flat ten. three, nice. Yes. So a lot of extra survivability damage, there, nice, great. Nice. So even with, it seems like the strike is gonna hit true, and you just tuck that shoulder and let the armor do the bulk of the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you feel a little bit of the sort of barb get through, but not quite as much cool. as it could have. Nice. Ooh, okay, that cool. is the adult Pruthix. Okay, it's Ilian. Ilian. Ilian, hit me and then run. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Uh, forgot. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take an unarmed strike at Morna. <laughs> And uh, do I have to roll for that? Do you let him hit you? Yeah. Then yeah. Okay. you take five bludgeoning damage. <laughs> have. <laughs> but Alien, ow. hit me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. She didn't even get the, the sentence out. It's gauntlet for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and but then have. I'm going to go to kind of toward TC. Okay. And, toward uh, the bridge or off to the side? So I'm not blocking the way for people to get on the bridge. Uh, so probably yeah, there, yeah, sure. You can be off. Okay, you can hop over there. the rope there if you need uh, to. And I'm just gonna yell out, "I'll take up the rear." Uh, just go. Uh, this is an opportunity attack yeah. here from the Kruthik. I hope you're fast. I'm speed. 
17 to hit. That is my ace. Oh, oh no. no. Uh, low roll on that. Uh, five piercing damage, reduced down to two. Another use of the heavy armor master. Love that it's not a reaction. I mean, that's just, oh, that's good really stuff. Nice. Really yeah. good. So oh, once again, just as you're leaving, clipped on the back there. Okay, okay. great. All right, after Alien, you're done? I'm done. Yeah. Other Kruthix. Uh, great, a smaller oh, Kruthix. Oh, God. Uh, they're just gonna go to the closest target here. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, a little closer there. It's okay. Explicitly. 40 and I do like the sound effect. <laughs> um, okay, some of those are gonna dash, but we'll do the ones that she reach first. So two of those, so one attack on TC and one attack on Morna here. Uh, TC, uh, 21 to hit. Ooh, that hits. And Morna, 15 to hit. No. Doesn't yeah. hit, okay. TC. Take uh, six piercing damage. I'm gonna interception that. <laughs> if that's okay. Yes, you have not oh. used your reaction yet. So I will interception and I roll the three plus two, so five reduced. So it goes down to one. Down to one damage. So just a, TC oh, turns and that little bladed limb is going towards you, and then you see Ilian's great sword cling, sort of knock nice. it partially out of the way of <gasps> Oh. Um, the. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, My no. savior. <laughs> That's what I do. You still got me a little. <laughs> I'll try better next time. Yeah. Do. <laughs> this one's gonna uh, dash and get up to Doxley there, oh. and then this one is going to dash and go up to Morna there. Okay. So there's a whole bunch there by Morna. Mm. Um, <laughs> and that is their turn. Okay. After that, it's uh, TC. TC. Do as I do. Disengage. <laughs> <laughs> cunning action. Yep. Cunning action, disengage. Oh, can I get through that space? Uh, can I try to You hop could go here yeah. and then hop over the I rope will there. attempt to do that. I so, will, I'm short. Right. <laughs> cunning action, disengage. Great, that's, that's 15 there. 15 feet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to do a little Give me ball. an acrobatics check. It's not a difficult one. This okay. one's because you're still kind of on the ledge here. It's mm. Easy footing. Uh, 22. Great, right. hops uh, up and over. Oh, another five feet there. So that's 20 feet you've used. Uh, 20, I have five left. So you can't get past Ace there, because that would um, be difficult terrain. I'll just move up a little bit, and... Move up right behind her. Do I want to take my dash? Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for another shot on the one by the dwarf there. Nice. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. The sooner we take him out, the clearer yeah. then. No more javelins. I can't lose more. <laughs> you down to four? It's a tough spot for javelins. This is the river below. Oh, tw uh, no, a dirty twenty. That will hit. Nice. nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, good. And good. because good. it's got somebody next to him, I get my sneak attack. Uh, yes. Hell yeah. Finish him. Uh, ooh. Oh, baby. Yes. It's juicy, um, baby. Um, um, <laughs> it is. It's that. It's juicy. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 damage. TC nice. places a hand on Ace's shoulder, yeah. reaches up and over, fires the crossbow, and, and then it goes kind of up over the edge, nice. splashes into the water below. There. So everybody got that, right? <laughs> do as I do, I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Who's after TC? Uh, after TC, it's Morna. Morna. All right, let's book it, baby. Okay, um, I'm gonna just run away from these guys. Okay, <laughs> would you like to use an action to disengage or you're just gonna eat no, the, I'm okay. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Here's book 10 it, feet and that's and three opportunity attacks. Let's do those yeah. first. Oh, natural one, natural 20, okay. and 13, Four. which I don't think No, works. 13 doesn't hit, just the natural 20. Nat Episode 13. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting, uh, interesting. interesting. <laughs> 15 piercing damage, wow. halved. Yep, it's, yeah. it's so seven. It seven, yes. Seven. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that adult crew, like the little ones kind of nip at your heels, and then you just feel like a <laughs> sort of stabbing pain <laughs> behind you as you run. Um, okay, okay, so you use 10 feet of movement. Great, there. I'm gonna run and I'm going to attack the guy who's blocking the, this right here. Great, go ahead. Where's Ilian? Uh, Ilian's right, right here. Okay, uh, shouldn't have taken up the rear, but okay. Um, <coughs> uh, she's gonna um, uh, throw Bill, hack, hack him Bill, hack, hack him with Bill. Are you throwing? <laughs> no, I'm, okay. I'm just gonna whack him. Throw an attack, yeah. yes. 
Yes. I'm gonna throw down oh, with my. this. Creature. That's a natural one. So then I'm gonna <laughs> attack him with Barb. Yay! Come on, Barbara. Yeah, it's Barb's, um. Oh, that's Barb. Wow. Okay, great. Uh, she's struggling. Um, that's a seven. <laughs> seven total. That will yeah. not hit. As you go in with Barb, just that shell is, you're trying to go kind of between the scales, but clink, you just clink off of one of them there. She's gonna yell, uh, Ilian, run! And then, uh, is there a way I can sort of get over this guy? Uh, you would have to kind of hop over the the rope here and then kind of do a TC and then hop back in the other direction there. I'm good with that. You're, you no, actually, that? I'll stay right there. <laughs> okay. I'll stay there. I'll stay Great. There. Okay. All right, after morning, it's the dwarf. I'm All good right. with not doing it. The dwarf, sort of, he was had his torch that he was waving back and forth, and he watches the Kruthik fall, gives kind of a look back, <sighs> and he's going to run. You trouble. <laughs> 30 feet. Him. He gets here. He gets to the end of the bridge, he and... Uh, he drops us. Ace he drops and TC us. give me um, perception checks. Oh, oh no. brother. I'm 19. Fucking hell, one. TC, you notice as he gets to the end of the bridge, <laughs> he kind of looks to his no left, way, he's actually looks to his right, and you just pick up the slightest, like, vibration. Oh. No! Uh, Come on! Uh, he's They're on the other fucking side as well! He's gonna dash all the way to the end here, and he's stand. He gets to this part where it's the rope is like anchored to the ground there, and he takes out like a little hand axe. He doesn't swing at it, but he takes it out, and he's like waving his other hand as hard as he can. No more attacking. We run. We okay, who's up? Uh, it's top of the line of base. Ace. Give me that full 50, baby. <laughs> That's all, all the way across. Take up the 50 back. feet. Yeah, yeah. It, as Ace is running, the, the bridge is just kind of <laughs> swaying with all the people that are moving. That's it. And the, now that you're getting a little closer, you too, as he's holding up his hand, you can see like it's a little unsteady just from the vibrations of oh the earth my below God, him this there. Is gonna be a big boy. Okay, who's next? Uh, it's Doxley. Doxley's up. Um, I'm gonna follow suit. I'm gonna risk a, uh, an attack of opportunity and, and we'll fall. Okay, so this is five, and then this can is I, 10. Like, give her a... She's moving through an allied space is simply I difficult to rain. So 15, but... 20, okay. and, then and then here's 40 more. 30. Um, and then I am gonna do the attack of opportunity oh, okay, there sorry. before we need. Uh, it's gonna do uh, 12 it's hits. Me, uh, great, so, and then gotcha. another 30 feet. Nice, nice, right nice. Ace. nice. Okay, and here they Elian, get on the fucking bridge! I'm coming! <laughs> uh, the Kruthix. Okay, uh, adult Kruthix? Yes. Great, so it's just the one adult left. It's gonna come <laughs> right up the wall here. Um, uh, multi attack for the adult. Yep. Am I within five feet? Oh, my, my reaction's still not there. So. Yeah, we haven't got to your turn yet. Yeah. One of those is a seven to hit. Nope. And then 15 to hit? Nope. Already do that? That nope. misses too. Nice. You hear the creature coming. This one's a little bigger, so you can hear those like <laughs> footsteps. And just as it's turning, you sort of bring up your weapons. <laughs> you clash with its claws. <laughs> shove it off to the side. Okay, nice. that's the only adult left there. Okay, alien. Alien. Great. Uh, all right, Morna. Um, Run. Let's go. <laughs> um, and I'm going to head to the bridge uh, and vault over like. TC did. Great. Do as he did. Uh, we're going to go here. <laughs> uh, that's going to be two attacks of opportunity. No, this one already did one, so one attack of okay. opportunity here. Uh, that's not going to do it. Uh, 12 to hit. Great. Great. So that was what, uh, like 10 feet or something? 10, we'll call it 10 feet of movement. Okay. Give me an acrobatics check. Again, doing it here, not terribly difficult to get up and over the railing. Mm -hmm. I hope not super difficult. Uh, you said acrobatics? Mm. Eight. Eight. You jump up and over, but you kind of oh, catch no. yourself on it, and pff, you don't stupid, fall prone. Stupid. I'm going to say that it's an, an extra five feet of movement there. So okay. mm. 10, 50, so you're at 20 feet of movement so far. Okay, I will sneak past TC uh, and so use the remainder of my movement to get through him. Yeah, I don't think you have enough. You've used 20 and you only have 10 left, right? Okay, I'll if you dash, I'm going to dash. Yeah, yeah I'll if you dash. The forward, so if you dash, you now have 40 left. Yeah, yeah. so head. five, this is 15 to get here. Okay. And then what is that? 25 left, right? <laughs> <laughs> Little movement math there. <laughs> I 
move. <laughs> Specifically <laughs> stand off to the side. You were all supposed to run past me. Uh, this is impossible with your <laughs> playing the role of, of Kate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Erica would be very. It upset had to happen. <laughs> Erica's watching it later. She's like, no one's mentioning TC's fat <laughs> ass on the bridge. <laughs> Unbelievable slander. Um, okay, who we got next? After Ilian, it's the young Kath. I, it's too much Baldur's Gate. I keep wanting to say Catherick. Catherick. Kruthix. Yes. All right, the young Kruthix. Ah. Fuck. Uh, this one having. Uh, no. Did you attack this one, Mona? I did. Then, okay, that one's going to turn and attack you then. Ooh. Come on, Mona. They're both going to attack. Oh, you got it, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm mage for this. Yeah, but that's a lot of uh, business. That's going a lot on. of little buggy. You look back oh and see God. a lot of cr- little no, young Kruthix. She goes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, four attack. They don't have multi attacks, so just four attacks. That's nice. Yeah. That's great. That's They're, really yeah, Actually, I'm going to miss profit. those. That's pretty cool. Uh, these are not really? great. Uh, 12 to hit. No. Nine to hit. No. Uh, 14 to hit. No. 18 to hit. Yep. So nice. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> that excellently navigated. Uh, no. And no. Uh, no. six piercing damage reduced Three. to half. So Ooh, nice. one of those little critters gets in there for one strike. Damn. Large, large. Um, and then that was the last one, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, no, there was one up here. I guess he just oh. emerged. Here he comes. <laughs> hey, 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 you're He's going to dash, but uh, he can't attack this turn. Okay. Thank okay. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the Youngs, right? Yep. So TC's oh next. You're up. Let me know when you head to the top. Okay. More now. Don't say that. Time to run. TC looks over his shoulder and it's just like <laughs> from all angles, all these little pointed <laughs> limbs. Um, I I have reason to believe the, these are dexterous little guys. Um, dexterous? More armored than dexterous. I mean, really? they look tougher than they look sort of fast. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need you to give a big leap as you follow behind, and I'm gonna bonus action. Uh, oh no! No free action uh, with my fast hands. Drop uh, my last thing of Caltrops here, in the hopes that the Kruthix kind of get stopped up. Okay. Um, mm. Making their way across, and I'm I'm shouting it out so you know to jump over it here. Um, um, it's not a it's not a free action. Oh, uh, right? it's a bonus. Action. Oh, it is a bonus. Yes, yeah. you use For your good. cunning action yes. to use an item. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, bonus action to drop some caltrops. Drop here. some caltrops right nice. there. Big right. move. Big set. move. Uh, nice. Go ahead and do that. Great. There's a little uh, bit of yeah. caltrops there. There's not big enough slats there that they all just like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like there are through. slats as you go further, but here where it's still above the actual okay. ground, yes, you can Good. scatter perfect. without it being an issue. Um, then I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna scatter caltrops and <sighs> turn around and bolt. Okay. Um, Thirty feet or twenty-five takes you up there. Are you dashing? Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. 60 total, so you use 25. This is 35, 40 gets you here. And then uh, another 40 uh, for my action is, is, uh, is a dash. Another yeah. Oh, other. I was putting those together. So. Oh, I'm sorry then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go back here. So, so you have 60 another, total. 60 total. Yep. 60 total. Sorry. So 25. <laughs> yeah. 35 to go through Ilian. Yeah. 40 is mm-hmm. here. So now you have 20 left. Yeah. Here's another five. Uh, so you can get. I'll wait. To, okay. So the docks like can. Sure. Can move so she doesn't have to get out of the way. <laughs> Don't touch me, Tacey. <laughs> you just hear the. <laughs> what? What do I hear? What do I hear? Tell her what she hears. <laughs> Even though a over sharp the sound intake of, water. of A sharp intake of breath through the nose. <laughs> are you actually doing that, or are you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hear that. <laughs> wow. Uh, Ilian sees. The heat of battle. <laughs> <laughs> the heat of battle. Ilian. Kind of gross, TC. Also sees it. Nice. What? I'm running fast. <laughs> okay. Who's up after um, this? Oh, yes. Let's was there, I Morna. think that was everything. Nah, that was yeah. a yeah, bonus action action. Morna? Get Morna. the fuck out of there. Okay. Right. Uh, I guess I'm going to disengage and please do uh, then try to get around these guys so you're gonna need to give me an acrobatics to try and get around this one that's blocking your way I think that'll go really good <laughs> yeah totally Okay, okay. Oh, okay, um, that's uh, 12. 12, okay. Oh. You, again, here where it's a little lower to the ground, you're able to kind of use the railing. You put one foot up and then you just hop and you can see the creature like doing this to try and stab <laughs> at you as you're going up over the top. Uh, this one doesn't proc yet, but these are 
five attacks of opportunity. I don't. Has he disengaged? You disengaged. I thought you were dashing. Sorry. Yes. Uh, disengaged to get over the top. Okay. Um, so that was ten feet of movement. Yeah. Are you doing a little leap here? I'm gonna do another little. Yeah. Um, this is the ground is small enough. It's not a oh. no acrobatics required. There. Oh great. Nice. It okay. just takes a little extra movement. Little so I'm gonna. I mean, this was what. 20, I'm gonna say that was 25 feet of movement to cool. do kind of that extra stuff. Then I'll go the rest of my... Um, Another five feet. Five feet, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and that's my turn. Okay. All right, dwarf. All right. The dwarf, <clears throat> he stands at the end there and he's again got the hand axe up. He sees people kind of coming and you can see him kind of nodding and <laughs> waving. And then he kind of looks down. <laughs> There's something else coming! Oh my God. And then he's just gonna wait there. He's gonna hold oh, an action die. to attack if something comes near him, but he's gonna stay there. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a hole in the bridge. <laughs> <of> the <laughs> the the you said, you there's said a little bit. <laughs> for those like Ace and uh, Doxley and TC that are getting a little closer to the other side, you can see the railings kind of vibrating a little bit mm -hmm. and punching <laughs> out from the rock. Oh, no. There are several other small Kruthix oh, that are like, like literally coming. Horizontally out, ah. and they immediately fall to their death. <laughs> <laughs> they're terribly. They're not dextric, dextrix at all. That's death. That's right. Um, okay. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Dextricity. <laughs> uh, one more there. Okay. 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 So there's a bunch of them, sort of there, punching their way out. Uh, okay. Top of the lineup. New plan. Yep. Ace. Ace. The bridge is a raft. <laughs> <laughs> um, how how much movement will it be to get to where the dwarf is? So 25 gets you up to this small hole that's very easily leapable there. Cool. And then, so you have, uh, what was that, uh, 25? Then? Yeah, so it'd be 50 total. Yeah, so another 25 would get you very close, but not quite to the dwarf yet. I just want to be on the other, I want to get ready to chop the other right. side of it. You can, so, so you give a little leap over that hole there. Yeah, and then clear the path for people coming behind me. Great. Or if they can get by. Great. Yep. We got one yeah. on the other side. <laughs> Rock and roll. Okay. <laughs> All right, Doxley, she's oh. gonna follow suit. Let's go full 30. 30 uh, feet. Great, and then As let's- you look over to your left and right, you see some of those creatures emerging from the rock. Yeah, let's let's do another full 30. Dash action uh, Basically, here. it gets you just up behind uh, Ace. Oh, okay, great, that's it. Because it, it's difficult to, you could hop over the railing if you'd like. Do you want to hop over either side? Um, yeah, I, I wanted to create some kind of cover for at least the dwarf guy. Um, so, so yeah, like can up I hop over this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I want to nice. be in between him and the, the Kruthix. Sure. All right, cool. That's my cool. turn. Um, <laughs> next up is the Kruthix. Uh, adult adult. Kruthix. Great. Okay, this one is going to skitter past All its right. ally here. Skitter on those counter uh, What is the difficulty? DC 15. 12. Yes. Yay. Yes. All right. Let's Stop. go. <laughs> Takes one damage. You see as it lifts up its claw, there's a number of those sort of metal barbs stuck into its limb there, and it rides kind of back and forth there. Nice. Um, so just one piercing damage. One right? damage, and it's reduced. It, it can't move for the rest of the turn, and its speed is reduced by 10 from now on. Great. Until okay. it heals. Uh, it can't move or heal, so it's going to stay there. Who's next? Uh, it's Ilian. Ilian. Um, uh, TC, TC. I'm going to go past TC. Five, uh, 15, 20 puts you here. Right. And then, so another 10, so there's your 30 movement. Retroactively, just right before I move, I'm gonna look back at Morna. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yep. Okay, then, then <laughs> do that. And then I will dash as well. Communication. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's, her lip is smarting a little. <laughs> She's good. Okay. okay. All right, after Great. Alien, it's the Young Kruthix. All right, the Young Kruthix. Is there way barred at all by the um, <laughs> This one kind of gets up behind here, and it's like trying to get past. Uh, it can move through its ally space. It's difficult to And this one's what happens with the Caltrops, too? Are they kind of scatter. The big one is taking. It stepped oh, on all those Caltrops shit. there. Okay. I mean, that's a big, a big <clears throat> benefit. As Morna gives a look back, some of the Kruthix moving along the side, they skitter along the ground, and then in a smooth sort of easy transition, climb along the side of the bridge there. Come on. Eight. She doesn't Get like that here. one. These minis, Dance. though, they look like shrimp. They do. <laughs> They're uh, shrimp shrimp. I keep imagining we're being attacked by cocktail <laughs> shrimp. Hey, you need yeah. to take damage each turn just to keep rich. I do, I do, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I will. So this is actually good. This no, is it's great. great. It's good. <laughs> That's why I'm in the rear. Uh, come up here. Okay, big old wave oh of attacks God. here. Okay. Oh. Uh, 
Not cool. For one again, uh, 13 to hit. Let's no. Two, uh, 12 to hit. No. 17 to hit. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, 11 to hit. No. 15 to hit. Yeah. One hit. Oh, yes! Uh, that is, again, six piercing damage. Okay. okay. Reduced okay. to three. Wow. Um, and then the small ones on the other side, skittering upward oh there. Oh, God. This one's gonna go for Ilian. This one's gonna hate, go for Ilian. Hate, hate. All right, bring it on. Uh, hate it very much. Uh, this one's gonna come up, and then uh, that was 15, and then he's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be Ilian too. Great. This one's gonna climb. Oh, he's gone, he's out of here. <laughs> oh, so can't go for his lens. 25 feet to get up here. It's, oh. It has enough there, it's gonna go for oh Doxley. <clears throat> so three Ilian, one Doxley. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, 18 to yeah. hit. These two or other two are low. Six to hit, uh, nine to hit. Okay, yeah. uh, one hit, and then one on Doxley here. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, 16 to hit. Miss. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One on Ilian. That is five piercing damage. Reduce down. <laughs> nice. This one here in the back that was the one that hit you, it's actually crawling kind of underneath the bridge. Ooh. And as you look down, it's like poking Uh-oh. up through the slats of the bridge. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, that is the young Kruthix. Sorry, TC. TC. Morn. Run! All right. I'm gonna run. So first 30. 30. Yep. Like it more. Puts me yeah. there. Oh my god. Can I? Oh god. Uh, is that? That's Ilian right on the other side of the yep. hole, right? Yep. And there's like a little hole there in Ilian. So for me to kind of vault it and him. A little acrobatics check I have there. To do to get like to a, a, you know, grab the edges and kind of go over yep. them. Do like a little kind of push off with your foot off the Yeah, rope. I will try a little like, you know, nice. grab one side, kick off of the other. You may. Um, so dash. Go ahead and acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Here we go. 22. 22. Nice. Almost kind of tightrope walking across That's the edge here. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and Casey. would you like to land here on the other side? Uh, you could I also mean, be on this side if you wanted to. Uh, no, I'll, I'll land in the middle there. Okay. It, am I within five feet of any of these? This one would be within five feet of you, yeah. Okay. Um, so if I used bonus action, cunning action to do that dash, I could still make an attack here. Uh, you dash to get here. But I can use a cunning action. To yes, to dash again. You said something about attacking? Yeah. So I've used movement, mm-hmm. cunning action to dash. Oh, that was your I thought you were saying Oh, no, 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 yeah, it, yeah. Got it, got it, yeah. Cunning um, action to dash, yep. You just have an action I can, You have I can a full attack. action. Yep. Yeah. I'll go for that Kruthik that's on the other side. I'll try like, pull my short sword and kind of try to stick it into nice. this one across. This or the yeah, other one? that one there. Great, yeah. And it's within five feet of both uh, uh, he and I. It is, yep. So. 16 to hit. That will hit. Yes. Nice. Sneak attack. Turn. Oh. One of the worst rolls I've ever gotten on that. Oh um, my god. Eight damage. Eight damage. Somehow that didn't kill this thing. Oh, oh boy. Stab that one. Oh. So close. Kill that. Kill that. Yeah. As it's writhing back and forth, you can see some of that Kruthic blood kind of spilling out onto the ground. It's kind of a dark green color onto the rock. Uh, Fuck. All right, that's it for me. What was your hit? That was a baby Kruthix? Yeah. What was your hit on it? 16. Okay. That's okay. it. All right, Morna, come on. Come on, Morna. Get the heck out of here. Run, Gibby. Fuck. Um, you look back, you see one behind you. You can look down, and something's like skittering underneath. They're coming over the railings there. I can't. So I have, what, six on me? Five on me? Five on you, yeah. I guess I gotta disengage again and then t- take my full move. No, I'm gonna dash. I'm, I'm gonna dash yeah, and do the full movement. Just okay. And just 30 risk it. The, there's your movement, and this is five attacks of opportunity. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no sweat off your back. Right, right. Let's go. This is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> like so many D20s. Some of these are gonna hit. Uh, some Sorry. of these are bad, Sorry. though. Uh, four, uh, no, five to hit, seven nope. to hit. Nope. And then. 18 to hit, yep. 19 to hit, yep. and then a 22 to hit. Yep. So three. How you doing, baby? How you doing, baby girl? Uh, 
Now these are all going to be oh, half. Let's do them one at a time. Yeah. 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 Four uh, piercing damage reduced to two. Okay. okay. Six piercing damage reduced to three. Yeah, these are little babies. Six piercing yeah. damage reduced to three. Okay, so. <laughs> Six eight. Minus eight. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, cool. I'm going to. I can't because I've done my dash, right? You have it, yes. This was just your movement. Oh, great. You have your action. Um. I got a healing surge. Yeah. Um, that's bonus. Got, that's just a bonus out. action. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna continue my dash and I'm gonna healing. Yeah, big moves. Right, surge. Uh, you guys, both of you, give a look back and Morna's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> working your way across yep. the bridge. Clear the way for Morna. Fuck me. Okay. You get to add your con to yep. it. Yep. Add your con modifier. Yep. yep. <laughs> little healing surge. A little emphasis on little. <laughs> uh, the littlest healing health surge. potions on you. Um, do you have health potions on you? I do. Okay. Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> In that case, no, I yeah. don't. What? No. Morna's belt is suspiciously empty. So you guys did all that shopping and... <laughs> we're, like we're, so look, we're Chinese. full offense over here. Yeah. We don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's, it's five glass cans. <laughs> yes. uh, okay. okay, that, was, that cool. was everything. Yeah, that was me. Dwarf. Was there we go. Dwarf down. Dwarf. Okay, so he sort of sees that people are working their way across. Keep going, keep coming! And he's gonna run over now that he's sort of close enough to reach the rope no matter what. He's gonna take a hack at this thing with his Thanks. little hand axe. Thanks, All right. Buddy. I like this guy. Uh, that'll hit. And then uh, four slashing damage against that guy. Ah! Uh, he's gonna go for another one. Ooh. That's gonna miss. This time it's sort of skitters back out of the way. And he's gonna just get himself ready to cut that rope if he needs to. That's his turn. Okay. All right, uh, top of the line up, Ace. Okay, Ace. Uh, you are here in the, uh, wait, yeah, there you are. How many feetsies is it between me and that big cluster at the far end? At the very far end? Yeah. Uh, pretty far. It's like 100 feet, 95, 100 feet. Oh, easy. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> Easy. So, I'm gonna run back. <laughs> <laughs> I actually it took a uh, super speed feat. Um, <laughs> I want to uh, first take a bit of movement and just hop out of the way. Uh, sure. Hop over Five the tracks. Five feet. Hop over. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yep. Um, and then I'll take my <laughs> first action of the battle, right. uh, and we'll detonating deck. And I want to yes. hit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's play cards, baby. Um, <laughs> I believe there's one in the center. And then yeah. hopefully those guys are within five feet of that guy. They are all within five feet. That's a crazy okay. shot. <laughs> and I want to remind, remind us. Cross. It's been a little while since we've uh, used yeah, the detonating yeah. deck. Yeah. Detonating deck. Uh, Ace has a lovely deck, and four of the aces in the deck are covered in a thin film of powdered thunderstone, mm. a crystalline substance brimming with unstable energy. You can flick an ace from this deck as a bonus action, scratching the surface of the card as you do so, and throwing it to a point up to 120 feet away. With the sound of shattering glass, the card creates a concentrated concussive blast. Each creature within five feet of the point of impact <laughs> must succeed a constitution saving throw or be knocked prone and pushed 10 feet away from that point. Oh, what's it gonna fall? What's it gonna fall? The DC of the constitution save throw is equal to a sleight of hand check, which you make when you throw up the card, which oh. I have advantage on. Great. Nice. You have advantage on the check. I will say, you're throwing it across the river. There's a breeze kind of coming through. Oh, They're no. getting it. It's basically the effective like cover. They're gonna get a small bonus to their constitution okay. save. Sounds good. It can still, so. Okay. So go ahead and make your, oh. make your uh, sleight of hand okay. back. Just throwing it like right here. Okay, fuck that dice. Um, 15. 15, That's okay. the DC. So we'll go. Uh, That's a good nice. DC. That's good. That's we'll good. go around from left to right. So we'll start with this one and go around. That's a two, so yes. five. Suck it. Um, Over the edge. Um, it's 18. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, 11. Yes. Suck it. Six. Yes. Suck it. And a natural one. Oh. Yes! Oh. Suck what it. Power. Power. There's a little kind of circular blast that goes out, and you watch as. <laughs> yes. Oh, big so dude. I think, um, Take your pick. You're four. Yes, yeah, so pick. this one gets knocked prone. <laughs> And then this one stays, and these three. Oh, nice. <laughs> these three drop like, oh, yes. Yes. 
Nope. Get in that fucking water, bitch. Yeah. Nice. Um, ones fall into the water there. Amazing. I also didn't realize that was a bonus action. Yes. Um, oh, oh, man. And, uh, this is why bison keeps ace around. Get around here. Um, and you've only used five feet of move. Yeah. Uh, why not uh, go up to the little shrimpy in front of me um, and we'll do an unarmed strike. Right. Which, that's just a strength. Okay, right? It should be on your. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Walks up, reels back, you look <laughs> at the chitinous shell of the creature. <laughs> 19. That will hit. Nice. Um, you hear a little cracking noise and the shell gives a little bit. <laughs> and that'll be uh, eight bludgeoning damage. Eight, and that's nice. the one that TC attacked that one. Oh, nice. Oh. nice. nice. Let's go. Yes. Nice. Woo. Woo. Crumples into a little ball there by the side. Okay. Oh yeah, did we just get rid of four of them? You did indeed. Oh, yeah. that's, that's uh, you have a little bit of movement left if you'd like. You um, I'll shimmy feet. back to my spot. Right, just, you yeah, I want to be ready to, and then I say like, as soon as you guys are across, I have an accent, hang on. <laughs> 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 as soon Everyone's as y'all like, are across, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna drop the bridge and we keep running, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, it's Doc. Okay. So I'm gonna. Our hero. Yep, Not that. wanting to lose another javelin, she's gonna hang tight to this one and just go straight down onto the noggin yes. of this one in front of her. Uh, yeah. 23 to hit. That was it. Nice. Okay, and then it's two, six piercing. <laughs> Pull it back, it doesn't quite kill it, but you get okay. between the sort of plates of armor there. Great, and then I'm gonna, fuck it, I'm gonna action surge and go for it again. Great. Ooh, 19 to hit, baby. That will hit. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Another six piercing. And you twist it this time. Nice. Pull it back up. Oh, if it dies, can she keep it on her javelin and like swing it forward toward <laughs> sure. the water and yeah. just like make it release? Yes. <laughs> Shop with that little nice. chooch. Mm. Heck yeah. You have movement right, or anything? Um, uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna approach the one that's now that's north of me and try to just get its attention so that the people who are trying to cross the bridge aren't interrupted. Sure. So yeah, I'll do that. Okay. okay. And now it's the adult Kruthix? Uh Adult Kruthix, he is, st- uh, is re- so at subsequent turns, reduced by 10. Reduced mm-hmm. by 10 feet. Great, yeah. so. Unless it can somehow heal. Uh, it cannot, so it's gonna very tenderly walk uh, 30 with the reduced <laughs> movement, and then it's gonna dash. Oh! 30. Oh, take down the bridge! <laughs> 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 Okay, that's the whole turn there of the adult critic. You sound like the king from the animated robot. Oh, he always does. It's a fave. It's a fave. Uh, what's Alien that? cleave this bridge in twain. <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite. Alien? It, it no. is me. Yeah. How well can you climb? Yeah. To the other, to the east side of the bridge okay, over there. Um, and then I'm going to hold my action. Can I help chop the rope from that side from where I'm at? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that until everyone's across and then chop at the same time as the Jordan sure. man. You got him. All right, baby baby Kruthix. Baby Kruthix, all right. They're mostly just gonna This one's gonna attack Gillian. Uh, is there any others? Just one, uh, the couple here. This one is gonna unprone, get itself right. That takes half its movement, so it has 20 left. Gonna dash. Uh, can't quite get through there, so it's gonna. Yes. <laughs> and then this one as well, crawling along the side Should there. Oh God! It did have to dash. Uh, no, it's, yeah, it's gonna stop there next to Mara, but it did have to dash to do that, so it can't attack. And I think that's it. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, one attack on Ilian. Oh, yeah, one attack on yeah, yeah. Doxley. Ilian, uh, 11 to hit. Yippee! Doxley, 17 to hit? No! no. Oh. All right. Get the way. Who's next? Uh, is the TC. TC. All right. Is anything within the melee of me right now? Uh, yes. This one here is within okay. the range of you. Um, I want to kind of, staying within melee, I, I want to kind of step closer to the hole and take, I thought you looked at me, but you didn't. I did. <laughs> I want to take a, a help action, like okay. hold a help for, for when Morna gets there. I want to make sure that she like clears this thing. What, what am I really helping with, I guess? <sighs> I mean, the hole is small enough that it's it's not like, it wasn't even an acrobatics check to get. Okay. Um, okay. Just get out of my 
way. Yeah. <laughs> you seed more than All right. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, instead, I will take my short sword again. And has either of these been hit yet? I don't uh, think. Doxley killed? No, both of those have not been hit. All right. Well, I want Ilian to think about other things, so I'm going <laughs> to, I will take that, sorry, step five, so that I'm within melee yep. of the one in front of Ilian. And oh, go Ilian's for a, a right. short sword through the uh, through there. Is everyone but Morna across? Um, looks like it. Okay. Yep. Eighteen to hit. That will hit. <laughs> Once again, sneak attack with yep. my nice. buddy right there. There we go. Nice. Um, seven plus five plus four is. Um, a big number. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. As Ilian has his great sword drawn, ready to cut the rope, the creature is like crawling up Ilian, Ilian's Ilian. sort of back there, and TC just reaches around the side and stabs it, and Ilian can feel it lose its oh, grip. Thank you, TC. <laughs> Get okay. ready to cut that fucking oh, ring. I'm ready. Um, you have movement. Use five feet of movement. Right. Forward. Do we see any other Kruthix kind of approaching the bridge area from the? Um, South? From w the far where you guys have come. Yes. Where we will run uh, Give me a perception check. <laughs> perception. God. Uh, 12. 12. What you're looking for more than any visual stimulus is like the vibrations. And as far as you can tell, it seems like most of the stuff's above ground at this point. You okay. don't feel anything beneath your feet. Okay. Tunneling. So I'll simply take a, dis a, a cunning action disengage to get away from that other one. And yep. I'm going to get out of the way on the bridge. Great. So with the rest of my. Five, so you have 25 feet of movement left. Yeah, nice. basically at the end of the, where the ropes are tied there. Great. <clears throat> All right, after you see it's Morna. Oh, it's Come on, Morna. Oh, I'm just gonna dash. Great, Morna can hear the adult Kruthik sort of coming up behind. Mm -hmm. 30 feet gets you up to nice. there. All right. hey, you are gonna run by two attacks of opportunity yep. here. You held a thing for the bridge, right? Yeah. I think we I'm have two it. held actions, so. Nice. Uh, these are terrible. Seven to hit, nine to hit. Nice. Yay! Yeah. Oh, They're kind of stabbing team. through the ropes of the bridge there, and each time you just kind of dodge out of the way. Okay, and um, Ilian's oh, held action. Give me an athletics oh, check. I want to take my full movement, too. Oh, my. Sure. Uh, oh, like good. a full dash kind of thing. 21. 21. Yes. One easy swipe cuts through. It goes through the top rope and the bottom rope, and the mm. whole bridge sort of yes. hangs yes. loose on one uh, side delicious. there. Nice. The whole thing is kind of, and you see the creatures, they're going to make dexterity saves to see if they can yeah, hang yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bitch. Um, uh, this one is close enough to the rock that it doesn't have to, but these three all need to make dexterity saving throws. Mm -hmm. Down. See, two of those are gonna save, and one's oh. this one that was hanging on the edge which falls down <laughs> against the water there. So it never gets it old. Is it fun. never gets old. It is fun. Okay, so you still have um, your movement, or I mean, you're there. Uh, the, the bridge is still hanging, kind of by the oh. other side rope. Okay. So. All right, then I guess I'm gonna take um, Barb, and I will um, slice. Great. Uh, Give me an athletics yes. check. Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh god, that's, uh, plus seven plus four is... So, is it over ten? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's over ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's cutting through the rope, and finally, with a loud groan, <laughs> the whole thing... Yes. Splashes oh. into the water there. The one remaining Kruthik yeah. is this one here on the rock, but the whole bridge has collapsed entirely. I guess. Yeah. Oh. All right. Hmm. Who's next? Uh, after more, it's the dwarf. Uh, the dwarf, okay. Seeing that you guys have cut the bridge already, he's gonna come over and steal your thunder. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait to see his Doctor's animation. Doctor's boxing him out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one miss, one hit there. What's he using? It's just uh, the hand axe that he has. Uh, the three, it's not gonna kill it. Three damage there. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, who's next? Ace. Uh, Ace, let's go. Ace, yes. you're up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's no I'm more like, bridge here. It's all fully collapsed. <laughs> oh, I guess I can. Yeah, I can run up. Yeah. Um, I'll run up for another unarmed strike. Aim and do it, everyone. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 18 plus six. So Damn it. Well, that will hit. That Roll is. for damage. Um. Uh. Oh. Twelve. And would you like to describe yeah. the oh. thrilling oh. blow here? <laughs> We're gonna Nine. use. Uh, you're in Kate's Ooh. seat, so you're gonna get her <gasps> graphics. Oh. Ooh. 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 You remember? Yes, yes, I do. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> describe it, baby. Um, I, I just 
rear back my, my fist and I punch so hard that before it falls down, it kind of shoots out. Like almost <laughs> like a little like Looney Tune ass. <laughs> He goes out, hovers for a moment, and then drops straight down. <laughs> you see as it's falling, it tips backwards, and you can see its limbs like <laughs> trying to grab something. Uh, and it... uh, Whew. Uh, it's down uh, into the water below. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Stay still, everyone, and I'm gonna uh, like get down to the ground and kind of feel the ground. Everybody, give me a perception check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the dwarf do the same thing. Drops to a knee, sort of places his hand. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Natural one, baby. One you want. Three. 19. 11. Shook. 11. With Ilian and Morna sort of moving a little further into the, you get uh, past where those rocks are and sort of place your hand down on the dirt just to see if there's any of those kind of holes or anything. And you can see a couple of them. You wait. No vibrations. Okay. Well, she's down on the ground. She's as sort of oh. subtly as possible. I'm gonna oh. do this just three times. Mm-hmm. And then sort of like sink down to her knees, <laughs> bloody. Yeah, mm. there's slashes and scrapes and sort of scratches on her armor on every side. With Morna having moved up with me to feel the ground, mm-hmm. would I have seen that perhaps? She's not trying to hide it from you. She's mostly trying to hide it from Ace. Okay. <gasps> okay. You did move forward, and your backs are to most people. Give me a perception check. But as she's not explicitly trying to hide it from you, it's not a terribly high check. Eleven. Eleven to over ten. Yeah, you do see. It. You can't tell exactly what she's doing, but you clearly see like a few hand motions, okay. sort of to herself. Can I see if I see that? Oh, uh, but give me a perception check. Yeah, it'll be another... much harder for yeah, you yeah, 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 purposely yeah. obscuring just... it. But yeah. No, that's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Unable. All you can see is her kind of just sort of get sort of closed off to herself yeah. there. God damn me where I stand. Ugh. I was trying not to spook the damn thing, so it called a swarm. I thought that I could end it quickly. I do apologize. I appreciate the effort anyway. What a massive fuck up this day's turned out to be. How did you manage to have one already on your t- heels? I must have picked it up when I was coming back down. I, I picked up word at the Merc Hall, came out here to scout them dire wolves. Mm. I was hoping to grab a friend or two, get paid for it. But it didn't say nothing about no Cruthix, and nothing about no damn lunatics neither. I hate to give the clinker so much as a copper, but after this fight, I'm heading upstream to use the bridge they got going there. Yeah. If we want to share a drink with you in town after this, what's your name? (sighs) He sort of waddles over, clearly like pained in a number of spots. Dale. Dale Wentworth. And who do I have the pleasure of addressing? Do I recognize the name at all? Uh, give me a, um... Just give me a history check. So what was the last name again? It's a five. It's not a name you've heard. Your your summation, not kind of recognizing or recognize the name, are that he's either new or if he works exclusively for the Merc Hall, mm-hmm. you do not work there at all. You get yeah. your jobs from Bison. So if people are really like mercenaries, that's really not your area. Of Got it. Um, I- Ilian, Ty Room, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I was scouting them wolves taking notes from a distance. Where they was coming from, where they was going, who the alphas were, usual shit. I needed a break. Keep my ass covered, I I ducked into this old clinker mine, long out of use. Hard to even find if you don't know where to look because they filled up parts of it. Anyways, as, as I'm sitting there having a bite, pouring over my notes, the dusty old stool that I'm sitting on (laughs) rockets my ass up and I hit the ceiling near break my neck. And you know what I hear next? Fucking laughter. I didn't stick around to find out what sick son of a bitch would think that was funny, so I just up and left. Another half hour later, I'm hearing the hiss and clicks of a crew thick and I just bolt. It's a mess out of here. He takes out kind of a handkerchief. He's wiping the sweat across his brow there. Puts the hand axe kind of in a little loop there by his belt. (sighs) Anyway, guess I'm glad you came along in case I couldn't keep it under control. So I thank you for that. Sorry you have to spend a copper now, but (sighs) glad to see you safe. Better that than dead, I guess. 
We're uh, in a bit of a rush, but uh, we might be doing the direwolf thing a little bit later in the day. If you share with us the notes, we can take it back to the Merc Hall, give you a percentage of the job. Mm. Give me a persuasion check. Mm. Nice. Fifty. And then... Motherfucking red crumbs. Hold on. <laughs> mm. I want those notes, baby. Uh, I'm gonna use Bully's best friend and mm. do it with advantage. Nice. You may do so. Oh, persuasion. Yep. Okay, that's a natural 19. Mm. Minus two, so 17. Oh! 17. Shit. No. Shit. I, I guess I found myself a bit in over my head, so if you can make use of these, you'd be my guest. <laughs> but I get a little piece of it. Absolutely. All right, I, I got a tent over with the gnomes. Tell them that you got something for Wentworth once you get the money. Will do, friend. And he hands you a, a paper that it's like, it's a little stack of papers that seems to have some notes on uh, direwolf movement in the area. Great. Tent with the gnomes, is that where Kirk said he was staying? Yes, they, they have, there, there's a lot of tents there. There's yeah. you know, dozens of them, but yes, it's the same area that he. Uh... I don't want to ask, Never mind. <laughs> Hearing laughter, it sounds, so surreal. Are you sure you're not no, prone to hearing voices or the like? <laughs> Can you describe where it was, sir? I want to shoot TC a shut the fuck up. <laughs> I couldn't tell you much for sure, but it was definitely someone's voice. I mean, someone was laughing. Unless it was a creature that can sound like a person. I didn't think I was hearing nothing, and it was quiet down there. Right. Well, where was that? You said abandoned mine? Yeah, Just so we know where to avoid. There's a clinker mine, uh, I guess, about 20 minutes due north, perpendicular to the river, and then a shade to the northeast a bit. There's a couple of rocky plateaus you can climb that look like a, like a great big staircase almost. Pillars, there's, a, there's four sort of limestone looking pillars, and in the middle, where it makes a little rectangle, I guess, is a hatch that goes down into the mine. My guess is that it used to be bigger when they were bringing carts down there, but they filled it in some. And that sort of, you weren't 100% sure you had heard about it, but that co correlates with what you've learned already. You had heard about an abandoned mine, mm -hmm. you heard that it had been partially filled in, at least the entrance to yeah. it, so that all tracks to you. Sweet. Well, I hope you have a uh, more calm rest of your day. Uneventful. Uneventful, yeah. <laughs> I walk up the riverbank here. Just keep my sight lines clear, see if I can't get to that clinker bridge. You headed to the wolves now, then? No, it's just gonna be something we might do later on today. So if you hear anything about the Murk Hall, it'd be later this afternoon, even in the evening. All right, I, I ain't trying to rush you or nothing. It's all right. Uh, well, if next. anything uh, comes at you in the next minute, we'll be in earshot, so give a holler, <laughs> but uh, otherwise. I will. We'll see you back in town. I appreciate that. Yeah. Good luck, Dale. Thank you. Um, sort of gives a look back at the party a little bit. And maybe uh, if you're cutting me in on a piece, which I appreciate for not being there, reaches into his knapsack. He has like a little tied off part of his backpack that he opens up and he reaches into it. What he takes out are a pair of arrows, like for a bow, for a short bow or a long bow, not bolts, but arrows. He takes them out. I got these beast slaying barbs from uh, Good as Gold. Supposed to be effective against things like wolves and such, but if you're the ones doing the hunting, suppose I ain't got the use for them. I would love uh, to. Uh, I can Ace use takes them. them. <laughs> yeah, he, he gives it to the first person who kind of reaches yes. out there. It's decide for yourself. All right, thank you, Dale. Uh, That's very nice of you. Good luck to you. Stay, uh, stay vigilant. Mm. I didn't hear Kruthix further up as when you get to the direwolves. I only heard him when I got closer to the river, so I wouldn't swear by it, but I'd keep your head up for wolves more so than critters. Thanks, sir. Right. Keep your eyes out for hole. Have a good one. Thank you. Oh, and starts to sort of wander along the riverbank, sort of up river away. Can anyone else even use a bow? Or Well, how many arrows did I get? Just two. I give one each. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry, you said they were they're arrows, oh, they're not arrows. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 it's like... <laughs>
I'm Boom. not about to. Sock it those away. <laughs> All right, how's everyone feeling? Your arsenal just grows. Awesome. <laughs> Ready. Doing all right. We should probably keep moving. That was Wanna? quite a punch, Jillian. I'm very sorry. It was spur of the moment. You said it. Yeah. And no, I, I know. popped you. I apologize. Maybe you could hold back on. All right, next. Yeah, I will. Do you need Hopefully, to... I don't need to punch you that often, though. What is that about? It's just sometimes I need to keep my head in the game. Do you need okay. to take some time to yourself? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to move ahead. She's going to healing surge again. <laughs> Uh, can you guys use? Oh, you can use two of them now. Is it half your level? Oh, can we? Isn't it half our level? It might be. Oh, yeah. Whoa. She's gonna have healing that's a game changer. I thought, I'm, unless I'm totally wrong, I thought we could do half our level. Yes. Healing surges, bonus action. Wow. Half of his or her hit dice. Yo. Is that the number of times you can use it there? That's so that that's be, right? spend up spend to. Up. Yeah, you could have spent an additional. Oh, but I do um, But, uh, character oh. who uses it can't do so again until he finishes. Oh, shit. Yeah, so yeah. you can only do it once, no. but I'm going to say it's okay. You, you, because you were able to use up to half your hit dice, you could have used another one then. So okay. if you want to spend that now, that's Okay, fine. come on. We haven't used the one. We really do, because. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Morna takes a moment to just kind of tend to her wounds a little bit, but it's not sort of covering up all the wounds, all the yeah. bleeding a little bit. Some of the scratches remain exposed, some of the bleeding trickling down her arm. Hey, that's going to be the difference. I, I guarantee uh, I'm also going to okay. use search. You use two hit dice as well. Sure. Cool. You can use them one at a time as well, but. Oh, well, <laughs> wow, you did really good. <laughs> <laughs> Ilian kneels down next to Morna and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I am full again. Fuck me, okay. Yeah, I'm good, I'm ready. Mm. All right. Does that, did that give you a clue as to where we're headed next? Yes, I think. Uh, you had a number of locations, but that narrows it down significantly. As we kind of, I guess, start to mosey in that direction. Yeah, sure. Uh, do, what I know about this, this mine, is it a one way in, one way out, or is there a back entrance? Ooh, give me a history check. Oh. Ooh. You have not been to it before, but you've gotten a couple Ooh. scouting reports. That's a nine. Yeah, not you can't remember exactly. Um, you do remember it's not it's not a huge mine. They only dug a little bit, right. okay. and then they kind of gave up on it because it didn't seem like it was proving out. Yeah. So it's not like some vast series of tunnels, okay. but uh, yeah. And then mechanics question: Do you guys do <laughs> passive perception? Like uh, uh, I sort of take it into account because I know people's passive perception. It's mostly I, I prefer active checks simply because rolling is more, more fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, no, I just kind of wanted to. Uh, for Ace and then like tell everyone else to just be sort of on extra alert for these like booby traps as we get closer. Yeah, definitely. Just to limit the the surprise sure. uh, that we might get taken okay. by. Yeah, I mean, in addition to what you'd heard before, her extra warning just to be careful of traps and, and keep an eye out for anything of that nature. Yeah. To see a scour. <laughs> <laughs> grab a bunch of pebbles and start chucking them at random things. <laughs> <laughs> they go off as traps. The information provided by Dale about the clinker mine is no small supplement to Ace's scouting reports. You'd had that location written down as a possible place to search, but it wasn't the only option. And the further you narrow it down, the less you'll be dodging the dire wolves as you move from place to place. Another long interval of walking follows, but the frequency with which you spot Kruthik holes lessens significantly as you get further into the woods which is a comfort as you enter an area where one pronounced howl might bring with it a stampede of wild canines. More than once, Ace holds up a hand when she sort of catches something out of the corner of your eye or hears something moving through the underbrush, and you all get low, and you wait till you see some four-legged creature sort of disappear between the trees. Finally, looking forward, you see a multi-tiered hillside sort of alternating between steep and flat and steep and flat, much like kind of a large staircase the way you described it. And while you're pleased to find that you haven't wandered off course, a couple of dire wolves are enjoying a little vantage point here. On the second step here of this area, there's three scruffy gray animals looking soft as a cloud, but fierce <laughs> as a fiend, lying on the far left side of that first plateau. So. Maybe a moment here to decide whether you'd like to try and sneak by them, scare them off, come up with another plan. So everyone kind of stops. Ace points out the little tiered oh, no. hillside there, and you all look into the distance. You're probably still 100 feet off from the wolves. I'm not going to lie. I am itching to use this bow. And if you shot one, 
I shot one, you threw a thing at it. We could get them all at once and it would be really cool. <laughs> There's three of them, you said? Yeah. How, how far away, are you all sure you could make that shot? How far oh. away is it? Right now you're like a little over 100 feet, but you could creep closer. No problem. Are we sure that there is only three? What about the other three or four that we cannot see? Well, if they're out immediately, then it'll be no problem. But also, with the wolves, I don't know, I feel like they're the type of animal that you wound some and they realize they're in out of their depth and they leave. They don't want to all die, smart creatures. May I suggest? I would also just say, dire wolves are not uncommon creatures. You've definitely dealt with them before. Uh, it would have to be a mighty blow to kill one outright. Not impossible, but a mighty blow. If you combine your attacks, you might be able to, but to kill one with one shot would be, that would have to be a, a, a I nice would like strike. to remind y'all what our mission today is. Right. And may I make one other suggestion, other than sneaking by? We've all seen you take on a more formidable stature. <laughs> Is that something you think that just a few dire wolves would take one look at and be scared enough to run away from? And I don't know how often you might be able to produce such said stature. Well, more than once, I will say that. Oh. <laughs> um, I personally don't see it as particularly necessary if we can sneak by, oh. but I appreciate your insight and your thought. I would say also as a, just feeding into the decision, <laughs> also as someone familiar with dire wolves, they're pretty intelligent creatures and they can be spooked because they don't want to take a fight that they don't think they can win. So it, it, not that you have to do that, but that, you, I, that I does. I do sort of... have advantage on intimidation and animal handling should it come to it. Oh. My, uh, <laughs> my suggestion would be to take the passive route unless we. I just want to be forthright. It will be a feat of legend if I don't make a sound that these wolves can hear. I am. <laughs> It'll be a. <laughs> it's like as he's doing his, yeah. he's, still, he's wearing heavy armor. Yeah, it's, it's clearly uh, clanking a bit. Is there? A, this is so stupid. Is there any way to chuck a rock really far in a direction and have them be like, "What's, What's over that there?" Rock? <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, hearing little sound. You can hear little sounds of other creatures and stuff. They're not like so skittish that one sound is gonna, but I mean, something maybe. I mean, there's ways to get them to move or. or... How about a combination of our plans? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, TC. We're on the same. Yeah, if you come up with enough bad plans and you put them all together, that's what makes it good. <laughs> that's how my plan is really good. Do tell. The sneaky er ones of us mm. could make some kind of a, a surrounding pattern so that when we do all fire at once, it is a bit more overwhelming for them. Mm -hmm. And they might be spooked by the fact that they feel surrounded. Or we all aim for one while you're intimidating them and deliver a death blow to one of them, and this scares them all off. Or a, a reasonable blow. I think if we're able to, s if, some, if some people are able to sneak by them, then we should all just keep sneaking rather than pause for an attack. I know that's. I will try my Maybe. damnedest. We should have a backup. <laughs> but but yes, we should have a backup for when they do notice. No, I think that's. How right. about the sneakier you... ones go first? Yes. And then if if we muck it up, then we all do the surrounding thing. And we all fire upon one. We, we should choose one now. What's the big? Is there one that kind of looks a little bigger than the others? Give me perception check. Are your monitors on, by the way? Yeah. Turn yes. people turn those off. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Oh. Uh, I think that everyone has a good idea. <laughs> That's a great theory. Empty, empty, empty headed. Warner. Empty headed. A okay. natural one. They all look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anyone see? Uh, uh, can I, uh, I'll say, with your powers combined, <laughs> okay. none of them seem like a true alpha or anything mm -hmm. where they okay. uh, sort of. The left. Myth debunked, by the way. <laughs> Great. It is. I'm assuming the guy's notes that I just got don't have like any information that would help us determine the best route. In this particular spot, not as much, because it's not a description of the surroundings as much. There's a like very sketchy map of, he seems to have marked where maybe some of the dens are, like okay. where the uh, wolf dens are, which is not where you guys are headed. It's You're not, not like, oh, the one with the 
Little black ears is the one that you really got to look out for. It doesn't say something to that effect. It's Scruffy mostly... is the leader of the band. <laughs> it's mostly tracking where he thought the sort of burrows were and their movement patterns. Like he's, he, it has written down like, oh, you know, ten minutes later they were kind of moving here, here, here. So yeah. Why don't... More useful potentially for your later mission than this one. Why don't we all sneak? And if sneaking fails, sneaking I'll get big. Will likely fail. I mean, hit the left one. That's left to us right now. Let's just pick out one with a certain pattern on its ears or something. <laughs> left could change if we're sneaking in different <laughs> directions. I also tend to forget unless I'm doing the how this exactly. How close are we to the the pillars in the mine shaft? Oh, do you have your monitors? On? Yes, you can we turn, do turn it on. Turn it on. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, oh. Um, so you guys are kind of looking up here. You guys are kind of at the bottom here. Okay. And, you're looking, and the wolves are just kind of up on some of these rocky right. steps. Up here. I mean, is there any way we can go? Like, yeah, it's just a lot of climbing, but sure, yes. I mean, here I can uh, that bring this up. the long way would be my <coughs> preferred, <coughs> but I understand if that's not. No, you can exciting. definitely do that. You're the boss. Yeah. Let's go the long way because. Okay. Oh uh, yes, yes. No, no. What were you gonna say? Just that again. Were anything to notice us? Let's see that one with the. It's got one white ear and one brown ear. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one when we all fire on first. Okay, white ear, brown ear. Great idea. Oh. Why if why if they come at us later, we can we can kill them. I'm just worried about sound spooking our mark. Uh, I'm very happy taking more strength from us. So I'm very happy to go through this without firing a shot. But good luck, TC. I'm assuming you're leading the way. I'll Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's moving though. Yeah. yeah Everybody give me still checks. Yeah. You are taking a little. You're not taking the direct route up. So you're trying to move through the trees to obscure your movement a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. You do know with direwolves, it's a little more sound than it is sight based. Oh nice. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh fuck me. Fourteen. You failed too. Eight. Uh five. Oh my Eight. god. Twenty, not Matt. <laughs> Great job, Peter. <laughs> TC and Ace take the point and they kind of split into oh, directions to kind of make sure that you're not concentrating. And as you guys are kind of moving up along the rocks and through the trees behind you, you just hear like twigs snapping, boots on the rock there. <laughs> and you look up a little bit and immediately. Oh, oh. And you see. I look, some, I look over to Honestly, it's, it's like, worth it for the comedy. <laughs> I'll put up a hand. They get up, they were kind of lying down and they get up and they start to kind of. Mortis. Oh, and <laughs> We just hold still. Get back down, but they haven't like moved yeah. off. Yeah, okay. But you guys got like, Ten feet forward. <laughs> oh, you my did mind. not fall that far before you. Sh sh uh, should we keep going? Can give it another try. Give me another round of stealth checks. Oh, You're no. fucking close. Can only go down. Oh my god. Disadvantage this time. It's bad. I rolled the exact same thing, but inverse on the dice. Oh. Eight again. <gasps> Do you have a disadvantage on yours? Yes. Do you? Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm almost 100% sure. Okay. Uh, 13. 22. 21. Nine. <laughs> Eight. Eight. <laughs> as Ilian, as he pushes through one of the trees, one of the branches is like bending, and then you realize it, and you pull your shoulder in it. And as that's moving, I, the wolves get back up, and one of them looks like it's kind of rearing back. I go for that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, or just, uh, ranged attackers yeah, can take yeah, 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 Am I unseen? Uh, yes. It's always okay. worth yep. trying. Uh, and I'm assuming this is within 120 feet. It is, yep. Okay. You were close enough. Which, uh, oh my god damn. 23 to hit. That'll hit. Natural 20. That'll Woo! Six. Oh. That'll miss. Oh. Uh, you oh are an unseen attacker. You have advantage oh. on, yep. Unseen Shit, attacker. I should have said whether it was the sharpshooter or I didn't, <gasps> I didn't say. Natural. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, we're a sibling? Chris. What's up? That's oh, really let her rip. cute. Um, well, what does the beast slang barb do? Okay. Uh, did you use that? Yeah. Okay. It. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to use it. It oh. gives advantage on attacks against beasts. We'll say you oh, didn't use that. I see. And you already had advantage, so you don't need to use that. 
10 piercing from Doc's piercing? 16, 16 piercing. 16, 26. Uh, uh, sorry, I have the 1d8, but what do I add to that? Uh, your dexterity modifier. Okay, so it would be nine. Nine. Well, you double the die because he of the did. grit. Oh, you yeah. did. That's fit and a double on a D8. Yeah. Um, so, so it was 16 plus, or tw- 16, 16 plus nine. Ten, and what were you? Oh yeah, 10. 10, 26. Nine. Nine. 35. 35. <laughs> and the two other ones kind of get up immediately and they kind of look around and Ace, you're kind of standing there. And they kind of look, and they look down at the dead one, and they're backing off like ever so slightly. But they cut, they're waiting to see if like you guys make a move or if somebody comes in. I just keep holding eye contact since it seems. I use my natural intimidation. <laughs> uh, if you're just gonna stand there, I'll say sort of an animal handling to sort of, yeah. sort of or you can do something to attempt an intimid- intimidation. Um, let's see. I have advantage on animal handling and intimidation. Oh. Animal handling is a minus one though. Cost benefit analysis. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Let's, let's do intimidation. Great. Yeah. So, as this is all happening, they look in your direction, you give kind of like a <sighs> without making too much noise, you make like a quick, like jarring movement. 14. 14. <laughs> They scatter in the door. Oh my god. Doc's <laughs> going and getting the javelin. I'm gonna get my okay. arrow. Can I, I'll go. Cool. Bring me back my bow. Do they, they scatter off? They do. The two I other ones the scatter. Didn't have to get oh, yeah. big. All right. Yeah, I've got it. Nice. <laughs> Are you gonna give it to me? Giant inside. Wait to see. Uh, yeah. You guys, okay. as far as you can tell, are open to proceed there. Let's... Ooh. The bow feels nice. Nice shot, you guys. Everyone nice shot. still be a little quiet. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Agreed. Could I have my bow, please? Well, I was going to say, when you're telling him to be quiet, Doc's going to come up from behind you. She's going to have the bolt in her hand, and she's just going to run it up your rum, and then put it in front of your face. I'll give a little, if TC gets like a <laughs> shiver, like a. <laughs> oh, no. God oh. damn it. <clears throat> do Thank you. Morna's just going to be watching this and like. <laughs> God. He subjectively looks away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is, but I don't want to look at it. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Not my circus, not my monkeys. Like <laughs> Going up, Stop. sort of plateau by plateau, you get to the top and you see four kind of sort of bluish reddish pillars made of kind of a limestone material. And you have to kind of kick some brush aside a little bit. It's a little obscured, but what you find is, and I'll bring this up as well, is like a little sort of hatch that leads kind of down into the ground that's in the center here. And as you're stepping on the earth, sort of between all of these uh, pillars, it feels like the earth is a little softer here. It's definitely like they filled in, this hole used to be much, much bigger, and they filled in a portion of it, and now all that remains is this hatch here. And as you look in, you see that there's like uh, like iron bars that are like uh, affixed and bolted into the rock there that lead down. So there's a ladder leading down. Which of y'all has rope? I do. Uh, I, think I, do. I think no matter uh, how the discussion goes, um, we can try and knock him out, but I think just grappling him and getting him tied up, um, subdue him. I have, I got some manacles on my back here. We can lock him up that way, but uh, there are many steps between here and that happening, but I just wanted to make sure. You have something to say? Just that. <laughs> If we don't knock him out, is he going to make enough noise to bring down everything else that we haven't garnered the attention of yet as far? Well, that's part of the rope. Uh... As... <laughs> well well said, PC. <laughs> you can just gag him right up with some rope for all I care. Great idea. So. That's, that's a good idea. Got a nice little handkerchief, just <laughs> shove like, it in his mouth. Would you like to be the vanguard? Um... All right, so I, I wanna... You seem nervous. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you like somebody else to be the first face, CC? Before we even step into the like the square, mm-hmm. um, I wanna look for, for booby traps. Sure. Um, Follow suit if I see her doing that. Slash also like, like if anything is um, pressure triggered, like I wanna throw like dirt or rocks or whatever and see if sure. it hits yeah. anything. Uh, give me an investigation check as you guys sort of uh, Move about if people if, if you follow yeah, her yeah, lead yeah. and check around. Oh, I mean, I yeah. may as well, but we're gonna. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I keep going back to these dice. That's um, not. I don't find anything. Sixteen. Oh, 
shit. Uh, we're looking for traps. You are. Uh, sorry, you said investigation? Mm-hmm. Okay. 15. 13. Four. Oh, okay. I'm busy with and this then guy. Is, is it stone around us? Uh, the pillars are, but, uh, oh, okay. and it looks like if you look down into the hatch, like, they fortified the walls with stone to make okay. sure it didn't collapse on them, but okay. but you're not standing on it. Because I have extra like stone stuff. But yep. um Oh you got stone stuff? Yeah, I got stone stuff. <laughs> I got stuff. stone stuff. I can mm-hmm. see some stone stuff. Dirty twenty on Dirty investigation, 20. yeah. You guys do a very thorough check of the surroundings. Mm-hmm. What you see is between those two and I'll bring this up again, between those two front pillars, like the closest ones to the edge, these ones here. Mm-hmm. It looked like at one point, there was a small rope between the two of them, mm-hmm. but it's actually mm-hmm. like one of them's broken off as mm-hmm. if maybe someone else who came through here uh, Maybe tripped the, it. our dwarf yes. friend. And yeah. that's the only sign of a trap that you see, but it seems to have already okay. been triggered in some okay. way. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, let's uh, head forward a little bit more. I was holding out my hand to allow you to Why, thank you. reach and step down. <laughs> Ever the gentleman. Mm. You start to move down the ladder. Let me just make sure. Uh, make, make sure, make sure what? <laughs> have the right music. Ever the gentleman. You should, <laughs> never mind. Don't, what? Uh, no, no, I wanna. Just, um. The derelict <laughs> nature of the mind. <laughs> I'm saving you. I'm saving you the effort. The derelict nature of the mind has you mildly concerned. But the mm-hmm. ladder leading down, as you're moving down, is hammered into the stone and doesn't show any signs of like warp or waver of loose or looseness as you go down, as you shift your weight onto that top rung there. It looks like it's about a straight shot, about 20 feet down into a kind of a medium sized entrance chamber that may have served as like a waiting area for idle miners. You see around some, uh, do you have dark vision? Yes. You do, right? Yeah. yeah. You see some scattered scraps of metal, splintered benches, a few broken axles and wheels that may have belonged to a cart at one point. If the quarry that you're chasing can't see in the dark, which you would expect as a human, he must not spend much time in this room because it is pitch black. Mm-hmm. So you're seeing in total shades of gray currently with maybe a little bit of the light coming in from the open hatch. Iron hooks around the perimeter have long rusted and any lanterns remaining are cracked and defective. They don't seem functional, mm-hmm. but the walls have held up very admirably and it's it's less sort of claustrophobic than you might expect down here because the hallways needed to be big enough for two carts to kind of pass by each other. So the hallways are actually quite wide, wider than you know sort of a tunnel that you might've been in before. Mm-hmm. The most the most foreboding part, of course, is the knowledge that there could be traps or tricks around any given corner. For the person that you seek had the time and the knowledge to fortify this position while they make their plans for the future. And unless there is some clever back exit, which you theorize, but you don't know for certain exists, someone in here is gonna walk away with what they want, either a prisoner or a fresh batch of pelts to hang on his <laughs> belt for collection. I would like to make sure that your monitors are off. Oh, oh. gods. Jesus. Off. Um, so We're dark. I assume we all have crawled down into this dark You've area You've all come down now. into this kind of entrance chamber that exists there. Can the dark vision, can I see like a glow coming from any hallway or tunnel? So you don't see a glow. What I will say, um, I'm gonna describe as you guys go through, feel free to get out an empty piece of paper (gasps) as I tell you kind of, you're gonna have to track it because you don't know the layout of the mine here. The first thing you see as you get into this room is that there is this opening room and then a staircase leading a little bit further down. Uh, So that's in the darkness here. May I light a torch so that we may see? Morna and TC can't, uh, other than a little, you know, the little yeah. bit of light coming through the hatch, you can't see. I will continue to hold on to you if you'd like, but I just don't want to alert. Very well. Mr. Scott. I will be useless in this dark. I am good at finding traps and doors. I'm, I'm okay with the light. Okay. I'd rather, I'd rather y'all can see. Okay. Thank a little you. bit. I'll get out a torch, sure. fumble for a torch. Yeah. And a, take a moment there, you lay it on the ground so you can take it your tinder box. Stay close to me, Morna. And once again, now you can see what I was describing, this sort of entrance room. There's a little staircase leading down and it looks like it goes down to another platform, maybe uh, about, oh, shit, you guys are already, about 15, 15 feet down. 
And then it splits off to both the left and the right. So there's two ways to go after this, as this staircase is going down. Splits off into other stairs or just into hallways? Uh, more stairs, yes. Okay. So it splits into two more stairwells going down. Go ahead. I'm looking for secret doors as we go. Okay. I'm also looking for traps in the stone areas or okay. secret passages. You guys can give me perception checks and apply bonuses or advantages as, as they are Thank you. applicable to it you. It doesn't say that I have any bonuses. It just says that that's something that I'm good at. Uh, is this, this is part of the... <laughs> the stonemason, like, background. background. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let me look at... Uh, that's cool. But I, in looking yeah. for secret doors, my dungeon delver gives me uh, advantage. Great for dungeon delver. Yeah. Um, and sorry, this is investigation. Uh, you gain additional. Um, you have advantage on investigation checks, so you can use an investigation if you if you choose uh, to in inspect. Uh, How's it phrased? Inspecting areas within stone structures, you have advantage on. I have stone cunning. Which one's that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, intelligence, intelligence check related to the origin of stonework. You are considered proficient in the history skill and can double your proficiency bonus to the check. With that help? It doesn't help with finding traps, but it might help you as you explore a little further with and you get a sense of the layout of the place, you might be able to determine whether there's like a, you think there's another way out of here, which I, is what yeah. you were trying to find before. Let, yeah. me, let me get to know these racks. Yep. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not gonna get to know them very well. Uh, Do you have advantage on that, or just history? Or just said intelligence-based checks? Intelligence-based checks. Yeah. Parentheses history. Yeah, give me another. Give me okay. that with advantage. Is this perception or investigation? Your choice in in this Ooh. particular okay. instance. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Mine is also fourteen. Fourteen. Oh. Um, you guys 25. are five. Kind of, great. You guys are kind of looking for different things, but as you're tracking the layout of this place, you feel like you because you've worked for Bison specifically. There are some mines that follow the same layout. They kind of go down, mm -hmm. they dig out a little bit. If they find the minerals, great. If not, they kind of go down to another layer. So you're immediately, as you're walking through the halls, you're like, you recognize vaguely kind of the layout of this place. Even though it's not one of Bison's mines, they follow the same patterns for the most part. Mine is a mine is a mine. Yeah. Smaller mines like this don't necessarily have a second entrance. They might just be, it is what it is. If you find later that it's sprawling a little more than you thought, maybe there might be another exit. But for a smaller place like this that went derelict very quickly, they could have gone in, gone out without sort of making sure that there was extra ways in and out of the place. Thank you. Um, for traps <laughs> and stonework, TC, as you wander down one set of the stairs, you get to the bottom of that first little platform. Now you split off in two directions. Which way do you two go? Same direction, different direction? I mean, Morna and I are sticking together. I, I'm, okay. I can't see anything. Yep, yeah. the two of you, left or right. You know nothing about the layout. Left so. is right and right is wrong. Right. Should we roll? Let's go to the right. No, I said left is oh. right and right is wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 I feel what it's going on me. I'm like, come on. Lead the Ten or below, left or left or up, right. <laughs> Immediately as you're starting to move down that left turn staircase, Morna's kind of running her hands along the wall and you just feel, you stop TC because what you feel is kind of like, almost like a heat on the wall. Mm. And you take your hand and you touch the wall a little further back and it's cool, run your hand and it gets warmer and warmer and warmer. And then with that, TC now sort of noticing that, you look and there's a whole bunch, there's like, discarded pieces of wood and trash kind of here in the hallway, and you use your foot to just move some of the pieces, and what it reveals are kind of dull, glowing, some kind of magical runes or, or sort of a pressure plate of a kind yes. there in front of you. And now, does it kind of span the... Left to right it spans, but yeah. it looks like jumpable if you were uh, careful. Unless this is a devious <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> we should be able to jump over this. Okay. Ready to try it with me? Let us. You two first, be my guest. Very well. Or, or, should some of us go down this other path so that there's no escape for it? I'd should rather split not split up. If we haven't triggered anything, theoretically he doesn't know that we're here yet. All right. I'm... I'm gonna then, I'm gonna wait at the base of these stairs and I'm gonna let you guys get a decent amount if we can space us out so that mm. if I see someone, I'll be in the back. All right. I like it. Very right. well. And stay still. Be loud. <laughs> I will. Thank you. I'm in the back. I'll kind of back up, use my 
my little fancy second level footwork to get a really far jump. Sure. And I'll... And who's, or is everyone going? I'll, I'll go, I'm not gonna do any fancy footwork. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of, if I don't stand on anything, Your I'll give my, an extra like 10 down. feet and make sure that people aren't slipping and falling after they make Acrobatics it. checks for anyone who's doing it with advantage because you were able to detect the trap. And you, uh, you know exactly where those little uh, glyphs are. I think I want to stay 50 feet behind whoever the next further back person. Okay. 21. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Woo! 15. 15. Uh, uh, 21. 21. Knowing exactly where it is, and again, it's not that, whoever set these clearly was anticipating you not seeing it. Like they're not, it's not terribly wide. Mm -hmm. So knowing where they are, you just take a little kind of hop and land on the other side, give room for the next Brace person. People. Hop one at a time. And Ilian, are you going as well? If you guys are going, I'll, I'll wait so that if they see something a while up, I won't make any noise, but then I'll jump if they're 50 right. feet up. Go ahead, give me my, give me your advantage uh, acrobatics. Ooh, ooh. Woohoo! Nice. Okay. Nice. Yes, that's that's Vader. That, athletics is 25, I think. Yeah, 25. Ah, great. Nimbly back. jumping across. Yeah, left is right and right is wrong. <laughs> After that left turn that you took, it swings to the right now. There's a little hallway that swings to the right. And it opens up into, again, kind of a slightly larger rectangular space. And as you look off to your right, it looks like the other staircase would have come down into this exact same spot. Oh, so nice. they kind of se separated and then <laughs> came back around. Like you can see the stairs mm, going up great. in the other direction. Mm -hmm. And now you have the option to go forward, left, or right in this room. I chose the first one. So the the left and right would not be the like the two that we that we could have come through, right? No, like, these are like new, new directions. Yep, you can the new directions forward. Left. Um. Well, why don't you see if there's any traps? Why baby trap something that you're not going to be behind? What? That's a great thought, Doctor. Did and I just say something smart? Yeah, yes. that's great. He's oh, good work. likely to be where there are traps, and unlikely to be where there are no traps. Yes. She's got it. So we want to go where there's more traps. Yes, sir. Yes. It seemed like y'all did pretty well detecting that one the first time. You want to give each of these doors another shot? Let us. Well, it's not a door, right? It's or, uh, yeah. Okay. Yep, just another hallway. All right. Hallway. Give me the same thing. Okay. Uh. Investigation with advantage and then perception. Oh, sorry. I guess it, it's only if I'm looking for secret doors and not traps. Oh, then just, just, then just a straight, straight perception. Okay. Yeah. Honesty. <laughs> <gasps> Still great. You get um, rewarded. Yeah. <laughs> 25. Nice. Uh, 19. 19. Nice. Once again, as you move a little bit further down this hallway, it seems like it's going forward and then it's going to break out into a T. So again, a left and right choice. But before you get to that T point there, Morna's running her hands along the wall and TC's looking and this time you feel something a little more physically and it feels like there's little holes that may have been mm. kind of punched into the wall there. And as you take a peek, they seem rather deep, almost like if something set off, something might come out of said <laughs> holes. I'm gonna sort of stop <laughs> TC um, from going forward. Sure. Sorry, what did we do there, left, middle, or right? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, did we take you, so as you came down the stairs, yeah. you took a left, and yeah. now you're faced with another T, another okay. left-right choice. But you haven't done that yet. Sorry, but we are we're, we're checking all three. Oh, sure, uh, yes, right? you're checking all three of the ways out of that room, is that the yes. idea? Oh, yes. Right. So the left one was the one that has, has these that? holes okay. in the wall. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I should have clarified that. So, no, we should have clarified that. All right, <laughs> so <laughs> carefully go over the, through, Oh my so God. far, so far, both traps have had their traps. You seem very tired. Oh, the, the, my, I told you, fitful. Again, this way. Trying to avoid. Sure, you do so. Mm. You move a little further. It seemed like maybe those were triggered by either some kind of, uh, again, like a tripwire or something. But the tripwires in here, it doesn't seem like you're the first people to ever walk through here because some of them are triggered, uh, especially that these ones that are a little more physical in nature and aren't kind of runes or alchemical in nature. Um, Bison hasn't sent anyone else. Not to your knowledge. If he did, yeah. he didn't say so. Okay. Um, so it could have been the dwarf that was here or it yeah. could have been some a creature coming down. You're not entirely sure. You have a choice once more, a little T, left or right. Where would you like to go? Going left, I guess. Left seems to be... Sure. You give me another set of rolls. Jesus, you guys got this. The dream team. 
Um, that's uh, 18. 13? 13. We're not winning. Yeah. Moving down this hallway a little further. Once again, you see kind of some of the debris on the floors and right away you're like immediately, because you <laughs> saw that before, sort of cognizant of what that might mean. TC holding the torch out to give Morna as good a look as she can. And she very carefully moves some of the things. And once again, little glowing runes that are sort of alternating kind of glowing and disappearing, glowing and disappearing. In addition to that, oh, what was your perception check? Uh, Six plus seven is 13. 13. As you're looking down this hall, holding up the torch and looking over the glyphs there, you hear what you think are footsteps in the hall. I'll turn and so that everyone can hear me. Just for funsies, can I read those runes? Uh, like, do I write Give me an arcana oh. check. Oh, yeah. oh, that is fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. For it's an 11. 11. You, you don't recognize like the language. They seem to be some kind of, uh, not a barrier, but a a magical trap of some kind. I mean, they, they're, they're certainly, uh, usually traps of this kind either have kind of an elemental sort of explosion of some kind that they can make, or they might uh, disperse like a, kind of poison or gas or something, like that could be sort of hidden in, either contained in the rooms themselves or within the floor below them. Like they might pop out and a gas might appear. So the kind of trap is somewhat familiar to you. All right. Where, where do you hear the footsteps? <laughs> like forward, yeah, like further down the hall. Point <laughs> straight. As you continue to walk down this hall, TC, every time you're sort of moving forward with the torch, those footsteps, seem like they're getting further away. And it occurs to you in this moment that the light coming down the halls is a little giving away your position. It's a little bit making it hard for you to sneak up on a target or track your quarry. That's Turn around something. again and just give a signal like. Who here has dark vision? Everyone but I just pointed at the oh. three of you, yeah. Three, two elves, the dwarf, and then the two humans do not. Can we shuffle it so we're like every other, like dark vision blind, dark vision? I'm yeah. trying to also just stay far back because I'm loud as hell. You so want to take I, up the rear? I can take both of them if you want, my little children. <laughs> <laughs> it's also so quiet in here that like, yes, you're not great at stealth, but you can hear footsteps yeah. in here. Like the person that you're oh, chasing okay. seems light on their feet and you can still hear them because it's so deadly quiet mm -hmm. in here. Every other one so. sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. <sighs> out. Descending into darkness. Morna and TC are trying to like, if something happens, like trying to picture the way back, like the way that they came, just in case they need an yeah. exit strategy. Honestly, I'm gonna kind of keep the Tinder ready again for if shit goes I down. I have my, I own, to... my own as well, so. Yeah. Who is leading the way? Someone with dark vision? Uh, I think that's me. Right, I'll I'm gonna right take the middle you. and I'll take the back. Can we kind of go up to them and as quietly to whisper, to look out for the certain th kind of things that we've found. Mm -hmm. The glowing runes, the holes in the wall, and such things. That's on you, Ace. Got it. Yeah. Um, TC, I'll keep you behind me. You said you guys were feeling warmth on the walls. Warmth on the walls, Can you keep yes. feeling even if you can't see? We will. We will, all right, thank you. And does everyone have, I think so, does everyone have standard dark vision, 60 feet? Some people yeah. have, yes. some races have like extended dark that, vision. Just yeah, 60. 60 foot dark vision. Yeah, just 60 feet. As you creep forward, this hallway is a little longer. It sort of stretches mm. out a little bit. And you can see off to your right and left, they've been kind of either barred off or barricaded off, but there's clearly spots where miners dug into the walls and then after not finding anything, kind of came back. There's a number of little like branching paths off to the left and right. But the main hallway continues on forward. Everybody give me stealth checks as you sort of creep forward, even though it's, it is quiet in here. Right, guys, I got this. Yep, spin, baby. Oh, my God. 11. Oh, Nine. 15. 12? Seven. Seven, okay. A little bit of noise as you're moving, but again, can't be helped in some ways in the quiet area. As you move further and further forward, 
Ace is trying to look down the hall, and the hall's clearly longer than 60 feet. You can't see mm -hmm. the end of it. It just like goes out, and then it just gets darker and darker and darker. As you get a little bit further forward, you're moving and moving, keeping an eye out for any of the things that your friends sort of gave you a heads up about. And some kind of figure is taking form in the distance. It looks like the hallway ends, and it opens up into another room. Mm -hmm. And a vaguely humanoid figure starts to take shape. And give me a perception check. Uh, anyone who can see? Uh, just the person in the front, because uh, the hallway is not super wide. Or... No. No. It's my first nat one of the. Of the oh, thing. fifth walk. Uh, you don't see anything about the hallway that you're currently in. The only thing that you notice about the figure is that they have kind of a sort of almost like bedhead hair, like it's clearly very kind of scruffy and sort of tussled. And part of the reason for that is the person looks like they're wearing a pair of goggles. Mm. They have like a strap around the back of their head and these thick kind of lenses in the front here. And you see him kind of peering towards you down the hall. And then you see him reach up and touch the wall next to him and something off to your left. Oh. I need everyone, who was in the back? Did you say you are in the yeah. back? Everyone but Ilian needs to give me a dexterity oh. saving throw. Yes. Come on guys, oh. dexterous. If it's a trap. It is a trap. I yep. get it. This advantage. is a trap. Yeah. He's triggering Is there any way I can help alert Morna Ooh. to the danger of coming? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey Matt. Dex save. Hey, hey Matt, I got a nat 20. Nice. <laughs> Just a dex save. Yep. Thank God. Uh, okay. I got a two. Oh, jeez. <gasps> okay. 20, not nap. <laughs> 23. Okay. Uh, okay, slay, everyone. Four, <laughs> That's pretty good. 14 fire damage, halved if you uh, succeeded on the check, and Ilian does not take damage. And double halved. Nat 20? Uh, double halved because of the save and then oh, the yeah. half damage. Yep. So, so, I'm sorry, so it was so 14, 14 half down to seven, seven, down to three, because it goes down. Oh, yep. I love this shit. <laughs> and the, all of you, like, <laughs> you battle against oh, the sides there, and you, there's like a little kind of ringing in your ears, and Ace, when you look up, that figure down at the end of the hallway is gone by the time. <laughs> And the fire dissipates quickly. It's clearly kind of an alchemical, magical concoction, not a true flame. And it, I can't use my, uh, the, the, my ability to kind of block all that, not block, but like, do I get a look at anything during that explosion? Um, a look at what specifically? Uh, Into the next room. Yeah, not really. Okay, okay. okay. Um, I'm gonna drink a healing potion. Okay. Where did you said the figure ran? Yeah, I mean, it, there's it opens up into a room at the end of this hallway, yeah. and it, it, the explosion you kind of were distracted for just a moment, and now when you look down that hallway, the figure is no longer standing. Through like the ringing of her ears, Doxley yeah. is gonna be like uh, to Ace. Do you think maybe now is the time that we actually try to communicate so we don't keep getting fucked like this? I think so. TC, hit that torch. Um. As you light the torch, you look around and some of that debris on the floor has been like obliterated. There's yeah. like ash and cinder kind of spread across the floor there. You see that Morna looks bad. Oh, <laughs> dearest mom. She got blasted right in the fucking oh. face. Oh. All right, so I think she drinks her healing potion. Is there any chance that- uh, Did where... you roll for your healing potion there? Uh, do I need to roll it? I think I oh, can- full action. Yeah, full action. Oh, You get the full maximum action using it as a full action. Get it. This is the best way to do healing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Eight, because it's 1d4 it's plus a ten, two. Right? 2d4 plus two, so it's a 10. Oh, yep. 10, very nice. Is there a chance that where he's running, if we keep running into traps, that he will make it back to the entrance before we catch him? Should one of or two of us go back to the entrance? It is possible that it loops back around. A lot of these mines are made in kind of like concentric circles so that you can get back around to where you were before. I'll stay it's back definitely with possible. Well, we blinds should probably go back towards the front. You yeah. can find the traps though, and you can light the light. Morna, oh, let's just take a peek in the room ahead and see if he's there. Just give, unless you guys want to sprint now. I think the two of them should go I back. I will light a are light. Sure? I'm gonna light my own torch and um, I'll go back with Docs. Docs land. You, they turn tail and go back in the other direction. So now splitting down well, the hallway. Remember where each thing yeah. is. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Uh, are we running? Uh, uh, calling out? Running um, is not a good idea. Calling out is fine with me. How, how close are we to the like to stepping into the foyer, foyer of this? Next chamber. Where you came from or the next place? The next one. The next one, about 60 feet, because that you caught sight of him at the edge of yeah, the yeah, yeah. so about yeah. 60 feet. All right. 
Uh, I want to slowly walk forward with TC. You come with me? Yeah, and uh, I'm focusing on more traps. Yeah, right yeah, now. say. Give me a perception uh, for the traps. Spencer Stott, I'm here for you. 23. That sounds pretty scary. Maybe you should try to be a little like him. And... There's a brief kind of pause as you kind of listen. I bet you fucking are! <laughs> <laughs> kind of rings out through the hall. My name's Ace. I've seen you around. Bison sent me for you. I'm here to bring you back, that's all. Why don't you come forward to have a talk? <laughs> well, I'd love to talk. Why don't you come to the edge of this hallway? You first. Spencer, this is a dangerous wilderness out here. Maybe for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, like, I, before they get too far, be it, Doc's Morna. They're like, like, sure, but at the edge of the hallway before they turn, you can get like, their attention, yeah. Wait, I'm just gonna hold it as a wait. You think you got a good deal with the warden? He's gonna double cross you. It's not gonna work out in your favor. Your uncle's the only one who can protect you. I have seen the ruth ruthlessness of those clinkers and they will not take a new person into the fold quite so easily. All right, I give up. Come on, take me in. I want to take out one of my aces okay. and I think I want to, I, we've, we've gone forward a few feet, right? Yeah, we've crept forward a little bit. Can you see any, can you see any traps sort of right at the... Well, right did you make for a second? It was over 20, it was over like 23, okay. I think. It seemed like that was the one in this hallway, that one that just went off mm -hmm. as far as you can I think we're good until we get to that next chamber, but who knows? Because I, part of me wants to throw it right where like the chamber entrance is, because I think he wants us to cross the... Threshold. As you have that card in your hand, you're kind of flicking it between your fingers, sort of yeah. waiting to see. You hear like a little, and then ting, ting, a little kind of metal ball rolls into I'm the hallway running towards it. Can I throw it oh. at that and set, set it off? You yeah. can, you throw it at the end there. Uh, give me your, uh, uh. your sleight of hands over 15 here. <laughs> oh, oh, and I got advantage. No, more All right. Shivering. <laughs> Okay, that's a 10. 10, you flick the card, but you're just a second too late, and ting, <laughs> it blows up, and this gas kind of <laughs> fills the whole hallway sort of in an instant. I need uh, mm -hmm. uh, constitution saves for the two of you and Ilian as well, because the other two are further down the hall, but the three people that were still in the hallway. This isn't a trap. Is it? it is not a trap, okay. no. 21, 23. 10. The two of you succeed, but then Ace, because she was in the mid kind of flicking her card, isn't able to get her hand up quick enough, and the gas fills the air and it stings your eyes. You are blinded. It is, it is the malice poison that comes out of this little sort of grenade that he's thrown. And it blinds you in that moment. Immediately you're sort of blinking, but your vision never comes back into focus. It's just dark the entire time. And you guys can see her sort of reaching for the walls, trying to steady herself. This there. wouldn't apply to my yeah. resistance against poison damage. Uh, is it against damage or against being poisoned? Uh, it, you have advantage on saving throws against poison and Make you have resistance You have advantage on this, yes. Okay. So you can roll here. Constitution? In Constitution saving throw, yep. Ooh. No, it's a Still. seven. <laughs> The dice want it to be so. Recognizing it, covering. Can I take okay. the okay, next okay. few seconds to like throw my torch into the room to try to light the area? Sure. And immediately like drawing my drawing my crossbow to see if I can like shoot someone in the leg if I see them. Give me uh, an athletics check to toss the uh, torch. Uh, oh, fuck. Four. Is four. Going wrong it kind of <laughs> clatters against the wall and lands kind of in the hallway, close to the next room, but not all the way in it. Yeah. And for the briefest moment, you think you catch a shadow, sort of moving as the gas is dissipating. You oh. could take a shot. Oh, a shadow. Yeah. Then no. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna yell out, Mr. Stott. You can either 
turn around and come back here, or your Achilles will be sliced and will bring you back dragged through the mud. Ouchies! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this guy. As, as the smoke bomb went off, can yep. Morda and I start to move uh, the hallway? We, fuck. Uh, Basically, just fully backwards. Yes, you can go fully backwards. To try to see if we can flank. Sure, as you go in the other, so they took a left to go down this hallway yeah. in that big open room. I know we're getting a little, yeah, you guys take a right, and quickly you realize that these sides appear to be mirrored. So like the hallways, mm -hmm. they seem to be the exact same layout in both okay. ways. Okay. You move down the hall quickly. Both of you give me stealth checks. Can, yeah, can we be trying to keep an eye on Give me stealth up? checks, and then yeah, I'm gonna have more to make uh, an investigation as well. Oh, balls. Um, that's a seven. Seven, Ten. okay. It, you, because you're trying to move quickly and because it's so quiet in here, it's rather loud as you're moving, but go ahead and give me the uh, investigation check uh, for the traps there. Oh, nat 20, let's go. Nat yes! 20. Once again, you see one of, the, you, you're you running your hands along the wall or you have one hand with the torch. You feel that heat spot again. You kick what looks like, it's like a wooden plank that may have been the side of a cart. It has like a metal yeah. strip on one end. You kick it out of the way and there's some of those little pulsing runes there. You show it to Doxley and the two of you, you can easily hop over it now that you know that it's there. Right. Hop over. It's easy, I'm moving forward. <sighs> You get into, sorry, I'm gonna stay with Doxley okay. more for a second. You get into that room that w mirrored, but would right. be the same room that he was in at the end of the other hallway. Yeah. Okay. A little open room here, and it's a dead end. Fuck. However, you look over to your right, and there's like a small, like exhaust pipe or something that uh -huh. they may have used to make sure that the air didn't get too uh, filled with sort of dust and they were able to kind of pump the air out so that the miners didn't sort of choke on the uh, the sort of dust and debris down here. Uh -huh. And that pipe, it's small, but it looks like it might connect to the other room on, that he you know, might be in on the other side of this pipe. Okay. Do we get the sense of uh, this pipe is probably really long then and has some curves, like we wouldn't be able to like poke our uh, it might be a straight it. shot, but it, it would probably be at least 30, 40, 50 feet long. I mean, okay, you know. uh, I'm gonna go over to the pipe, and since I have dark vision, I'm gonna try to like even peep through it. Give me a perception check. Mm -hmm. Oh, perception. I can also hold a torch there, yep. if that helps. Five. It, it looks like it might be longer than 60 feet now that you're down next to it, mm -hmm. because your dark vision doesn't seem to get all the way to the other end. Uh, okay. We'll swing over to the other side. What are you guys doing? How do I get rid of this condition? <laughs> um, it wears off. Uh, give me a nature check on the nature of the poison. Ooh, baby. Full on blinded. Huh? You guys, uh, Ilian and, and TC okay. could do it as well, because you are aware that <laughs> okay. as you're sort of dispersed in the air, you can tell what it is. Uh, 16. Okay, 16. It seems to be malice, the poison malice. And what you remember is that it wears off after an hour. Fuck. However, uh, I will remind you of a certain elixir in your I was going to say, <laughs> can I? That, it, that cures blindness, I believe. Oh, okay. um, so the, the elixir of health, does that get back HP or does it just a cure, cure affliction? No, you have a health potion that does health. That's purely afflictions, the elixir of health. Uh, cures is any disease, removes the blinded, deaf and paralyzed, wow. or poison conditions. Huge. Slay, okay, I'll take that. Right, so wiping your eyes, drinks that potion. <sighs> and slowly blinking a little bit of the pieces of the hallway start to form back together until you can see once more. You gotta get moving, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, Spencer, are you still there? No! <laughs> We've got the other two around the other way. Try to flush them out, I'll stay here. Okay, I'm moving forward. Yes, uh, why don't you, yeah. yeah. I'll take the front. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. As you get into this next room, you see on your left-hand side in this room, a little exhaust pipe in the wall. Nice. Spencer appears to be in the middle of drinking a potion, and as he's wiping the liquid from his chin, he's oh. shrinking in size. I'm running, <laughs> I'm running for him. I don't want to grab him. through the pipe. Give me a uh, athletics check. Him oh testing his acrobatics. Come on. 17. If I hit him with a card, would he die? Well, so Ilian like jumps for the pipe, but his feet just get out of reach, and you can hear his little toom, toom, toom oh footsteps like moving through the pipe. He's there. going through the pipes, and He's you hear pipes. another sound. <gasps> Fuck no! Toom, 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 toom. Oh my god! Oh my god. <sighs> I need uh, Ilian. Who else was in the room? Ace. Oh my god! <laughs> I 
I put you first. So yeah, I Il think... Ilian definitely. Yeah. Okay, Ilian, give me a, uh, a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity? Oh, oh that's a 16. 16, okay, that saves. Yeah. This one appears to be um, another sort of more uh, combustion related, not a poison. And then you Fuck. take half of half of nine, so rounded down to four fire damage. <laughs> a much smaller explosion, but these little kind of grenades going off that he's clearly sort of put these together as a kind of trigger a trap. You can I'm afraid the structural together. integrity of this place will kill us all if you keep that shit up. <laughs> so he, he runs through the little pipe? Runs through the little pipe. I guess, I guess we'll just head back around. I'll stay on this side. Do and in the other room, yeah, can gonna, we hear? As I'm gonna you go guys are the crouching by the pipe, <laughs> Doxley can hear. Hug the wall! Hug the wall! More gotcha! More gotcha! Tum, tum, tum. Oh, hug the wall. Douse the torch. Getting a little louder. Hug the wall and douse the torch. Okay, give me stealth checks. Oh my god! I'm not moving. Does that mean it's? Straight? It's more that the light went okay, out okay. right away. But it, but is it still a disadvantage? Oh, um, that's what I mean with my armor. Uh, yeah, straight check. You've been waiting here for a moment. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. 16. 16. Four. Four. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, I have pluses now. Um, six. <laughs> oh, right. You got ding, it. Ding, ding, ding. One for every inch And the footsteps like stop. <laughs> and as you're standing there by the wall, a little ball rolls out. Give me a uh, constitution saving throw. Is there any way seeing if I'm close to Morna, can I like grab her and like shelter her? like? Put me between the. You can give yourself disadvantage to give her advantage. I'll do that. Okay. Huge. So Huge. What, what kind of check? Wow. The constitution. So you grab Morna and you cover her up and you take the brunt of the uh, of the poison or the okay, grenade that's, here. Okay, uh, that's seventeen for me. Nice. 17, Eleven. Seventeen. Eleven. Okay, that is gonna fail and that will succeed. Oh. Um, you are condition poison. Okay. And let me the right mm. one. This little rat bastard. I am gonna kill him. <laughs> Don't <laughs> kill him. <laughs> okay, you're conditioned poisoned. Okay. You take uh, 1d6 poison damage okay. at the start of each turn, so every six seconds. Oh my <gasps> god. And it keeps happening until you succeed three times. Oh my god. Three times? No, no, three times total. No. Oh, okay. So you're about to take 1d6 right now. You roll for that? Yep. Three poison damage. Okay. <laughs> And in another six seconds, you're gonna roll again. Oh, but okay. what's are everybody we going doing? Around? I think we've we've you, gone. We've gone. You are. I'm staying. I'm, going I'm, running, I'm running to with the you. other side. Is this also the poison where I have disadvantage on ability checks? Yes, like because okay. you are condition poisoned. So it's well. ability checks and attack rolls. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh All right. Great. 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 I'm gonna go run up against the pipe that he ran in in the dark and just sit there next to it and listen to mm -hmm. the pipe. Okay. Give me a perception check. And as all that's happening, you guys are recoiling from that, and another thing comes out, but this time it's not kind of a small little grenade. It You recognize it, it's a smoke stick. And it comes out and begins to fill the room with a thick sort of obscuring, opaque smoke. Is there any way we can pick it up and chuck it? Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. that. I'm gonna stay by the pipe yeah, so yeah, that yeah, I yeah. can grab that little football man. Where do you chuck it? You chuck it in, chuck it out? Where would you like to throw it? No, I'm not chucking it back in the pipe. I'm gonna chuck it. Uh, uh, like away, Great. back into the hallway. You reach down, and you're just like searching around. Give me an investigation check. You gotta find it in right? the. It would be just a bit blinded by the smoke. Investigation. Yeah. Uh, seven. Seven. You're moving through, and at one point you feel something, and you go to kind of touch it, but it doesn't feel like a stick. It feels like a boot of some <gasps> kind, and you hear. It seems like he's trying to run through the smoke to get past you. Oh, I couldn't have fucking grabbed it? Like, but I, I was... felt the boot? Yes, well, it was filled with smoke. You couldn't see him come out of the pipe. Oh, fuck. You're, you're effectively blinded here in the smoke. And what were you trying to do? Uh, if I felt this boot, I couldn't, like, You can. Grab Give me on. an athletics with disadvantage here. How tall is he right now? Is... Uh, he's halved in size, so if he was about six feet, he's about three feet tall right now. Mm. Okay, uh... 13? Um, that's an 11. Oh, then you go to grab and you feel the boot but slipping out of your hand. If I feel it slipping, aside from using my inspiration, is there anything else I can do? Like, continue to crawl or anything? Uh, you like, can do it, it's just he's moving at the same time. So, like, you might miss him there. Is he running towards the hallway we're running? If it's possible, we're, we'll swing around in a second. Uh, uh, I'm gonna use my inspiration and try to just lunge okay. at him. Okay, you may do so. And Big is that a straight game. check now? Like, how, how do you wanna handle this? Um, uh, give me, let me see your inspiration card for a second. Oh, I how think good you get was to, you? 
Uh, oh, I didn't realize that there was. I think uh, you get, she gets quadruple instant. This, this, this is an ability check. Uh, you can do it after seeing the result of the d20. So what you can do, you get to re-roll the the worst die. Okay, so I make still it to keep the the other one. And what kind of check is this? It was an athletics check. Okay, athletics. So what was the higher of those two dies that you just had? It was 11 total, right? It was an 11 total, so it's more than an 11. So you gotta keep that. That's what I'm saying. The inspiration, because it was with disadvantage, uh-huh. you're only re-rolling one die. Uh-huh. So you can re-roll the lower die. Okay. But because it's with disadvantage, that other die still stands. If you are if you roll a higher one, okay, the lower one Okay, I just don't remember stands. what that die so was. A nine probably if it was 11, right? Because you have plus two. No, it doesn't the, matter what that well, one was. The disadvantage one was a nine, oh. so but I don't know what the higher one was. It was higher than a nine. That's all I remember. Okay. Sorry. You can roll again with disadvantage or you can not use it. Th- that's how it works from the future. If you use uh, inspiration, yeah. you get to re-roll one of the dies. One of the dies. One yeah. of the, I th- okay. thought this was just going to be a separate check. Sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking use it. Okay. Then you roll again with disadvantage. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. No, I'm not doing that. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, um, I'm just gonna shout. Uh, he's moving to the hallway. Okay, okay. I'm gonna run blindly. Oh, oh, oh hell yeah! <laughs> dum, dum, dum. And see if I can grab that little fucker. Give me a disadvantage athletics check. As he tries to slip by you here. Right, Morda, in the darkness. Seventeen. Oh, oh. fuck me. <laughs> that's uh, athletics check. Yep. Um, it's a 14. 14. You feel like his shirt in your hands and you go to grab and once again, it just slips out of your hand. You hear his footsteps. As he's running, you guys, uh, who ran the other direction? You stayed there. I stayed. You guys are running in the other direction. You get into that central chamber where it split off in two directions, but also went forward. You get into the room, you see this goggled man with his messy hair. He sees the two of you and then goes off in the other direction. Like he splits Mm -hmm. off to the other side there. Okay. 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 Enough! And I hit my uh, bracelets together and I become large. Okay. Um, and run after him and okay. try to grab him. Give me an athletics check as you attempt to catch up to him. As, as we're going, can I say to Ace, yeah, yeah. do you know the layout of this place? Do you know where that leads? Nope. Okay, great. <laughs> God damn, man. Sorry, what'd you say, athletics? Athletics check. Oh, <laughs> oh baby, let's go. Um, so that'll be an 18. 18, at full speed spin, she's picking up pace quickly. At first, he's kind of on the edge of your vision, but he's getting closer. So closer and closer and closer. At one point as he's running, you see him jump and then land and continue to run. Uh I copy him. Give me an acrobatics check. Do I hear people getting farther away from me now? Yes, you do. I get up and start to quietly. Uh, 22. 22, you land on the other side. He's maybe 10 feet ahead. You run and there's a closed door at the end of this hallway and he runs up to it and puts his hands on it and you have a second here as he's trying to open the door to kind of tackle him or something. Yep. uh, uh, This is gonna be, you're trying to grapple him, like grab him. Give me an athletics check contested by his athletics check here. Not bad. 18. 15, 15. Oh, yes. my God. Oh. Open the door, he tries to kind of lunge through it, but you reach out and you just grab him, yank him back. As he does that, he grabs the edges of the door oh. frame, and he, as he's getting pulled, you see like a, a t- piece of twine or rope or something, and it fling. Oh. He's gonna make a save, and I need you to give me a dexterity oh, cool. save. I just, I just want to hold on to him, yep. I don't want to get care. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to see what I have at the end. That's just strength. But dexterity save? Yep. Come on. He saved on his. 14? Uh, 14 is gonna save as well. Ooh. 11, you have down to five. Uh, fire damage again. So it seemed like he was kind of trying to get past this trap so he could trigger it, but as you pull him, it triggers and <laughs> another wall of flame, oh. but he falls back into your arms there and you pin him to the ground. <laughs> I want to cuff him. <laughs> Let me cuff him. As you're sort of wrestling with him, Ilian's up yeah. next. He kind of gets yeah. up. He starts to hold, and you pull out the manacles. Get the cuffs on. Fuck! And then. <laughs> and he kind of looks through dusty goggles from the flame that kind of went out there. Interesting. You picked the hard way. Uh, Feel like I recognize you. <laughs> I want to. Wait, that's a war crime. I want to uh, <laughs> <laughs> search his pockets. I want to um, take out all his. I was gonna strip him, but I was like, that's yeah. it. Give me um, an investigation check. While that's happening, yeah. I want to say, 
I am a man of my word, and I want to take my great sword, and I'm going to slice his Achilles. That's <gasps> allowed. Oh, Wait. Alien! Yeah. Alien? One. One of them? One. Well, what good is that? He can hop away from us. I want him to be drugged through the mud on the way back. <sighs> All right. I'll let Bison know what you did. Perfect. And I'll cut both of them. Oh! You go to the other leg. God, ew! No! Don't you ever fucking run from us again. Oh, he is <laughs> uh, I need you to give me a. Um, are you like purposely? Because you're making cuts, which is going to do damage. Yeah. But you're purposely not trying to like kill him. No. He, can, he me, can't bleed out. <laughs> no. Give me two one d four uh, plus uh, I mean, dexterity because yeah, you're like trying to serve him very a little while. But I, yeah, I, I need someone to do a better. Two, three, five total. Five total. <laughs> Great. So he takes five slashing damages. You just just cut him. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Rise there on the floor. What was the investigation check? Six. I'm too Six. busy keeping him. Pinched. Yeah, as you pat him down, though, he's got kind of a lumpy overcoat, and you do reach into one pocket, and there's one more of those little grenades that he was throwing. You're not sure what type it is, <laughs> yeah. but he's got one more of those sort of in Great. his pocket. I the end, ready so to carefully put that out of his reach and away, and if any one of you wants to take it, ah. we'll reach out and take it. All right. You're gonna have to drag me back. That's I will. Plans. Idiot! Idiot kid! Where's Doxley? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna... Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Everybody We're kind of... Yeah, yeah I'll haul him up, you like, start... Your dragon like, for back. Yeah. What was your plan? How long were you gonna hide out in here? Uh, I've got a lot of tunnels. <laughs> I could've gotten away. Yeah. <sighs> but you did. I guess not. I don't suppose I could bribe you. No. A thousand gold. I kind of want to accidentally like <laughs> hit his head on some rocks. Like I'm not being careful. <laughs> Two thousand gold. What was the warden gonna give you? What were you gonna give him? Warden doesn't have an alchemist on call. I could give him something he's never had. What do you want you to make? Protections. Warden's going to war with Bison. Why turn on your uncle? He turned on me first! The warden would use magic like this? Alchemy's not magic so much. Sort of a gray area. Not this fucking stuff. <laughs> I suppose that's why he didn't say yes right away. But he's that desperate? He knows that Bison's got the manpower that he don't have. Uh, I'm gonna tie him up and just gag him with a Yeah, rope. his his hands are tied. Yeah, he's in man. I'm gonna get yeah, 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 yeah. with a rope. Yeah. And you see, he's not he's not unconscious, but like the blood and getting knocked around. He's yeah. just kind of a little limp in your arms there. How, how do you look? I was about to ask for a DC because I'm gonna start making some throws here. For okay, people. yeah, we'll, we'll say we'll sure. rewind yeah. a little bit. Um, go ahead and give me a <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, is it straight? Yeah. Oh no, a constitution saving throw. Yeah, it's a straight roll. Yes, because uh poisons only attack rolls and ability Great. checks, uh, not safe. 15. That passes. Give Great. me another one. Nice. So I don't take damage. You don't take damage. <sighs> uh that's a ten. That fails. Three poison damage. Okay. Got one safe. Give me another one. Thank you. Uh nineteen. That passes. Nice. Nine. That fails. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Uh four poison damage. Okay. Uh, that's a 12. That fails. Great. One uh, poison damage. Okay. Uh, one more. That's a fucking 11. Oh Another God. one poison damage. Okay. Uh, 21. That. Woo! Yes. Four, five, so. six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and then, oh, finally you feel that poison leave your body. You guys drag the man back up. It's a little bit of an effort, given that he's borderline unconscious to get him kind of back up to the surface, but you get back up to that hatch, push it open, breathe the fresh air once more. Sort of <clears throat> lump on the ground there. Toxley, thank you for yeah. saving me back there. Don't mention it. Good work, team. Mm. Do you want me to carry him? Something like that. Yeah, I Great. just want to check. 
is, should I let them go? Because I know you mentioned that I can bring him back. You can take, once once he doesn't have any of his alchemical supplies, this guy's not a fighter. He's not really a threat. He's tied up. You could take him back. That would not be, you would not see that as a difficult task. You are more than welcome to carry him. I just want to let you guys know that technically, right now, the job is done. I can bring him back to town, no problem. If you guys are coming back to town, you can come with me. Uh, but if you guys got to take off and do other stuff, that's completely your prerogative. Just look up into the sky, you see the position of the sun. You might be a little early, but you're probably creeping up on three o'clock, which is yeah. when the letter said that Kate was interested in meeting near, you know, to... Uh... Well, as much as I want to drag him through the mud, uh, I do think I have prior obligations, right? Yeah, I think we've got other stuff. So, please drag him through the mud for me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are we getting out of all this again? You're getting in uh, a very good word with Boston, particularly you. Great. I will say. And for his brutality, I will let you know that I had him in mind before any Achilles tendons got slid. Also, TC, I don't know if you saw, uh, I got blasted with fire, she got blinded. I don't know, my, did I see her poisoned, like struggling through it? Yeah, she was coming, coming, oh, you can see He her. did something to my sister. And you probably would have been blasted and blinded twice many more times if it weren't for more. All right, as much as I uh, love having- is... All right, all right, all Having right. some street cred. I'm hoping there's something a little more physical in nature that we're going Well, to... I'd like to finish my sentence yes, if I know, the children would stop fighting with each talking other. Talking over us. In addition to you getting my good word put in for you, you also get to be top of the list for a very exciting adventure coming up, should you want to come. I'm still waiting for something physical that I can put my hand on. <laughs> I will say also, Morna and TC who were there for the thing with Bison, Bison said he was gonna pay. He didn't specify yeah. an amount, but he said, oh, I got gold. And <laughs> you guys are gonna get some good old fashioned gold. Do you Great. have any idea That's how good. much? He didn't say, but Bison, you know, he's not a cheapskate. He, 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 he runs with an iron fist, but he pays for good work. So you, you don't think he's gonna like toss you a couple gold. Like, <laughs> right. hey, yeah. Probably, definitely more than the last time. Yes, definitely. Oh, um, well, it was a pleasure. Yeah. How long are you guys gonna stay in town for? I didn't think Brunk Hollow was the kind of place people went in and out of. It's two days, it felt like three months, so who knows, <laughs> maybe another year and a half. That's true. Well, I just say, as as you heard from this one, and I kind of kick Spencer a little bit, mm -hmm. um, it seems like something's brewing. And I know on my end, from my sources, change is coming to Brunk Hollow. What kind is of change? Is there any more you can say? Would Bison welcome this change? If it benefits him. But the immediate change very well might be a war with the Warden. All this to say, you guys are, for the most part, very nice folk. And if you're really choosing to stay in Broncala, be careful who you ally yourself with. Make smart choices. Yeah? Yeah. Um. Allied with these lovely folk here, and I think I've chosen well. I think the point is, is that you might have to make a larger choice there. We'll see about it. Ace Thank picks you. up her quarry, sort of half dragging him again. <laughs> he's sort of stumbling, sort of being dragged a little bit. It's going to be a slow process, but you watch her work her way down the hill there. The rest of you kind of stand, have a moment to yourself, take a breath. Think about whether or not you might be meeting up with Kate, whether you're gonna stick around for that, or whether you might head back in the direction of town. And that's where we're gonna end tonight. Oh time. my gosh. We love a nice long guest episode. Kelly, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, thank, thank you guys. guys. Yay. 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 Some oh, epic moments. Thank you, the Fruit Nude, for the raid. Oh, well, yeah. Very in there. Oh, fruit oh, Nude. <laughs> fruit Nude. You guys Finish crushed it. Uh, you were able to do so. I thought someone was getting to the point of like, we're killing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would not allow that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dox, they didn't get her hands on him. Um, oh my goodness. I stayed my hand. Like, <laughs> goodness. Well done, True. everyone. You got to see a little of the nasty side of the alchemical world as he was tossing Ooh. around. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah the was. nasty side nasty. of Alien. God oh my damn. God. I, uh, I, yeah. Shit, I warned this guy. <laughs> if he does this, I will Alien's do this. Alien's a man of his word. Yeah. I will do it. I will Alien's do this ridiculously nasty thing to you. <laughs> well, wow. I also, I'm allied with you guys, and I'm not a fan of, I'm a protector of my friends, and so mm. I do not take kindly to people who hurt them. Gotcha. With Ilion on his soapbox, that is where we'll end <laughs> wow. tonight's stream. Wow. Ooh, wow. 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 Yeah. Once again, thank you so, so much. Do you want to give one more plug to your... Yeah, office? just find me on socials. It's just uh, Instagram and TikTok, it's Kelly Hire. Um, I forgot to say earlier, I love making playlists for all the characters I play, so send me a DM and I'll send you the playlist. Check Ace's the playlist, A's playlist is really fun. All bangers. <laughs> NBB. <laughs> NBB. <laughs> um, awesome. Uh, that's what we're going to call it for the evening. Um, we are off next week. Um, have a wonderful <laughs> holiday, everybody. Uh, we, we will miss you. The week after that uh, is not a Brunk Hollow episode. We're thinking of doing, we're gonna definitely do some blasts on social media, but a earlier start time stream so that people can. Uh, yes, because it's New Year's Eve. Because it's New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. All, of you, all of you people across the pond can like actually watch us in an appropriate hour. It's <laughs> yeah. gonna be like a very yeah. wow. stream. Yeah. That'll so be so fun. Stay tuned for more information about that. It's gonna be not Brunk Hollow, it's gonna be a little side. It'll be something fun. Uh, Yay! Um, you Goldie, even if it's not you Gold, something silly like that, that it has a little bit of. <laughs> Yeah. Do we do yes. countdowns for each time zone that we get through on the hour? I was thinking at least getting oh a little uh, like a, a like a ball, like a, a little like a spinning ball, you know, like we the New York, oh, New yeah. York ball, yeah. oh, cool. uh, so that people in chat could like put it when it turns midnight if, if people are that far ahead yeah. of us. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. 100%. What do you want? A ball. I want a ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, we appreciate your, your guys' support so much. So many people bidding and, and subbing and gift subbing, and we really, really appreciate it. Um, check out the Discord. There'll be a new episode discussion. Um, and thanks some people, because I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. Yes, thanks some people. We have a little yeah. uh, closing oh. ceremonies this evening, which is like a fun little video, uh, a holiday video oh. for us oh, to yeah. enjoy. Oh, yeah, 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 go ahead and turn, turn the monitors on. on. Is that yes? Please turn the monitors on. Monitors while on, while yeah. they're doing that, I will thank people. Um, yes. So Wizren yes. Inc. Uh, cheered 5,000 bits, please die TC, and Twitch gave another <laughs> 750 bits uh, on top of that. Uh, Wrangler, Spider Wrangler, cheered one bit uh, uh, for Toots is Natural One. <laughs> Ali Slayer cheered 100 bits. Ali Slayer cheered another 100 bits. Fruit Newt Party rated us 12 hey. viewers. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys you. are still around. Vex Talon. Ooh, Ooh. Vex Ooh. Talon um, cheered uh, 100 bits. Yay! Yay. Thank, you so thank you guys. Cheers to everybody. Thank so you, sweet. Um, Literally, yes. And a very special shout oh. out, uh, this this video, this uh, closing holiday video, a special shout out to Stephen Tchaikovsky, who has uh -oh. done the music oh. for this oh, shoot. special oh, holiday oh, broncolo. Yeah, I knew about it. Oh, <laughs> no fair. I knew about it, I knew about it. I know, ready um, you guys are. Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, we're ready. Oh, we're gonna ready. cut our audio so they yeah, so we, your audio, you'll just hear the song. Great, oh, so good. they'll be able, again, they'll be able to see us, but they won't be able to okay. hear us. Uh, oh my gosh. We'll All right, say goodbye, guys. Have a great night, have a great week, have a happy holiday. Holiday, but stick around for the video. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody flipped my emote some look. Flurries in the air, snow along the thoroughfare. The downwheels seem to hold a quiet hush. The pines are frosted white, not an enemy in sight. It's the time of year your rosy cheeks will blush. For folks both young and old, there's no place like good as gold to buy a present for the ones that you hold dear. And quickly you will see that you can't get it for free. You have to pay for it, they'll make it very clear. Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo, no need to weep and wallow. There's cheer in every tavern in the square. Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo, spy stale to swig and swallow. When it's Christmas here, there's magic in the air. Morn 
Myrna's finally smiling, door to door she's caroling, singing hymns and songs to fill us all with cheer. Montero's joining in with a fire-breathing grin, and even Maeve appears to have a jolly sneer. TC is padding round, Snowy sneak steps on the ground, but you can spot his cheery bum across the way. He's giving treats and toys to all the goblin girls and boys In cold Christmas hollow, hatred melts away Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo, no need to weep and wallow There's cheer in every tavern in the square Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo, spice tail to swig and swallow When it's Christmas here, there's magic in the air Jack and Doxley dancing, decorate the tree. Shining silks and ribbons, glowing sleek and trim. Then Gucci's face goes white as Dox begins to fight and starts tradition Christmas pugilism. By that alchemist, you know, Billion hangs a mistletoe, hoping for to steal the big wet kiss. Maeve opens up the door. Wish I could tell you more Cause she pulled him in So the rest you'll have to miss Oh boy Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo No need to weep and wallow There's cheer in every tavern in the square Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo Spice tail to swig and swallow When it's Christmas here There's magic in the air With her desire, and at first glance it looks like lumpy coal. But as the fire's growing louder, sees it's actually black powder, and a spark ignites within her curious soul. Matt sees all his PCs relax and be at ease, and knows that it's the time of year to give. But with a grin, she grin, and to everyone chagrin. Makes them all roll for initiative. Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo. No need to weep and wallow. There's cheer in every tavern in the square. Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo. Spice tail to swig and swallow. When it's Christmas here, there's magic in the air. Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo. No need to weep or wallow. There's cheer in every tavern in the square. Oh, it's Christmas in Broncalo, spice tail to swig and swallow. When it's Christmas here, there's magic in the air. When it's Christmas here, there's magic in the air.